Hello, 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 everybody! Yo! Hi, y'all! My bad, my bad. Okay, hold on. Let me fix the screen. Okay. Hi, chat. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. Hello, hello, y'all! Okay. Um, I'm always fighting burps trying to talk to y'all because I have a bunch of water that I drink before I start the uh, stream, but... Oh, excuse me. Not me fighting... Not me fighting this right now. Anyway, let me actually say hi to every everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello to my lovelies, both on Twitch and YouTube. On the YouTube side, hello, Gonzalo. Hello, Ahogneg. And hello, Bananas. On our Twitch side, hello to all my lovelies. Hi, Breeden. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Ned. Hi, Veopunk. Endo got it. Hello, Jay. Hello, Garchu. Like God. Ned, Cookie, Maddie Blocks. Hi, Ashik. Hi, Veopog. Hi. Hi, Suchinus. Hi, 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 hi. Let me see if I'm missing anyone. Hi, Radio Sub. Hello, hello. Okay, who else am I missing? Hi, Orish. Yo, what's up? You finished the quest. Hi, Lopsided Lollipop. What is up, everybody? Um, today we're gonna be doing some quest stuff. We'll see. Um, we're gonna see how that works out for us because I'm 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 nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. You know what I mean? But hey. <laughs> All right, let me do this. Mod's bad, Ned. You speed run it? Oh my god, not the speed run. Yo, chow! Okay, I'm trying to delete some videos so that I can be able to make space for the quest tonight. Because I feel like it'll be good. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm checking. I'm checking my, like, space before I record the quest. All right, cool. We got space for it. Yo, Cube Next, how are you? Speaking before flood comes, please be safe. Hi, CC Lotus. Hi, Jasonator. What is up? We're just gonna, you just wanted to do the quest in Spider. I wasn't planning on finishing the quest, but I started it yesterday and it was so good. Yeah, it's, I, I feel like, I hear that it's around as long as the other quest was. Hi, daddy, what's up, how are you? Yo, it's so funny saying your name out loud. Um, yes, you guys, but with that being said, let's just, let's just go in, because we got a long stream today. I'm not gonna lie to you, we have a long stream today. Sleepy? Felt, felt that. Um. They don't send the messages half the time on mobile. I'm sorry. Damn, that's so weird. Let me check my full screen, too. Okay, cool. Um, here's some codes. Oh! Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Yes, Arlequino. You know what? Let me close this really quick. Let me close this. I love my wallpaper. I got it from Wallpaper Engine. So, yeah, this is the wallpaper. Arlequino! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes. Um... But we're going to do the quest today. I wanted to, to finish it last night, but um, we did so much for the wishing hour. It was literally like a wishing three hours, essentially. Um, it does cost money. Yeah, I think it's like 15 bucks or something like that. Women with umbrellas. <laughs> women with umbrellas. Wow, I can't speak today. Hi, Luis. How are you? Not women with umbrellas. <laughs> women who wear coats. Let's go. Uh, no, we were doing viewer pools and, um, a lot of us lost our 50 fifties. We actually had 10 losses and like eight wins or seven wins. It was really bad. Um, it was like the worst luck I've seen. I wish I could lie and just be like, oh yeah, it was cool. But it was like, it wasn't, it was like really bad. It was like terrible. You can finally remove midly. Wow. No, I got, I'll show you what I got yesterday. Chat, y'all know what I got, right? Y'all know what I got. Very embarrassing to admit this to. No, 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 silly. On HSR. Okay. An old friend. Who's this? Wait, what? My dear, are you there? Who is this? Es a niño. You got your fave? Chill! No. Don't say that. I have a ticket. How'd you know I had extra tickets? Yeah, weirdo. Oh my god. Really? Robin had to drop out. Wait, wait, wait. Robin had two backing performers that had to drop out. Oh, backup like singers? Psh, I'm in there. I'm actually in there. You're probably scamming me, but listen, anything to do with singing, why not? Hi, Suho, congrats on Acheron! Let me see what this does. Yeah, right. 
Click this link and enter your personal details as well as your address. Okay, this is a scam. This is a scamma. Yanqing is HSR, Chi Chi. You're so right. Ugh, is this Sparkle? I ain't your friend, bitch. Does the Trailblazer even have an address? Literally, just gonna like link, just gonna dox like the whole, <laughs> the whole Astral Express. Oh my god. Let me see. Just gonna like dox their self and just everybody in the Astral Express is gonna be like, who the hell is this? But anyway, let me actually get this baby through. Um, I'm gonna get my assignments done. Oh, that's so convenient. I love it. Um, how many of you guys have gone Acheron and how many of you guys haven't gone Acheron so far? I'm very curious about that. I guess I'll just level this up. Why not? Ew, defense went up. Disgusting. Not the Astral Express IP address. Oh my god. Yo, hi, Cory. If it's Sparkle, I'm not supposed to how she got your number. Mm, like she has sample for it? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna go to this uh, daily quest. Yo, Chiori, what is up? Hi, Chiori, my wifey. No, we just started stream. Shoot, I'm late, but when am I not? <clears throat> Paid sample for it? True. Sample is definitely a sellout. He would give anything for some, like, for some money, so. <laughs> All right, let's go. Who's in second phase? Second phase was, uh, wasn't it Aventurine and Jing Lu? Right? I think it was. Hi, we're good, how are you? I think it was Aventurine and Jing Lu, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yep, Aventurine, yep. Aventurine, Jing Lu, cool. <clears throat> oh yeah. We're in heaven. Oh, damn. I forgot how to get there again. Right? I can't wait for the backstory, too. You're okay? I hope things get, like, better for you. Ah! Don't look at me. I'm not here. Ah! I'm going farther, aren't I? Not me forgetting the way, dude. Oh, this song is fun. Um... How do you get here again? I thought it was... Oh, it's literally here. Hi, friend. Acheron Companion Quest, ahora. Mm, have I done World 9? Not yet. And I didn't get the last chest in Pentacone yet, unfortunately. But we'll we'll work on that. Um, Where else? Hey, mischievous Dizzy Wubboo. Hi, friend. How are you? Just me. <laughs> Hi, Sebastian. How are you? Hello, hello. We're just, um, I'm just doing my dailies real quick. Just a bit of my stress right now. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. It sucks. It sucks when, like, things get kind of stressful and it's just, like, trying to manage it all. I hope things get managed soon. There we go. I completed that com. And also, we're going to keep on going to see if I can get anything for Acheron's light cone. We'll see. I, I don't know. The Cosmodicy event is still happening, too. Also, y'all, you should totally use my invitation code. Ooh, you want to use my invitation code so bad. Ooh. Feel free to use my invitation code if y'all want. Ooh, you want to use it so bad. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm bad. I'm so sorry. All right, return mission. Hi, thank you guys. All right, we're gonna enter the draw. We got four tickets to enter with. Let's see what we get. One more friend left, yeah. You can't tell this is gonna end. Like, come on, that's so, that's so rigged. Hi KFC, no worries. Mm-hmm. That's so bad. They do it in a way where it's like, Nah! All right, one more time. Or two more times, I guess. Let's go. See, I'm voice cracking. Sweet! Thank you so much for the follow! Yo, thank you, the Grim Reaper! All right, perfect. Money! Money! 
money. Money. Nah. Nah. Nothing. Oh, well. It is what it is. Um, I got those. Yay. And then also, uh, no, that's just from travel log. I need to get rid of that. Oh, cool. We got some stuff from here. So we got about another wish that we can use too. Thanks to whoever keeps using my character as well. Thank you. Let's, let's try to make some wishes. Let's see what we end up getting. We're going for, I love the, Mono the Monopoly event. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, I've seen it. I was playing it yesterday a little bit. Tasha! Hi, Tasha. Nothing special yet. I do... Reminder? Yeah, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? Drops in title. Oh my god, you're so right. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh my god, thank you, Brayden. All right, bet. Put it. I put it. Okay, I didn't get anything special yet, but we'll, we'll see. I think I made four wishes or five. Where are we now? Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. Wait. Reforged Remembrance was... Oh. Yeah, it's going to be a while till we get it. I got my birthday cake today. Oh, no worries. I also have this when you come back thing. I, I don't know what it calls. What do you... Oh, the code and stuff? Is that what you're talking about? Your birthday was... Oh, nice. Well, happy belated birthday. I hope you had a great one. Oh, Reforged's Black Swan's Night Cone. Oh, yeah. I think, um... The Cosmodicy. Let's go back to... Let's go to Cosmodicy, too. I kind of want to... Okay. I want to do Cosmodicy real quick. I don't know. I will like everybody's... Ooh. Give a like today to get reroll coins. Wow. You only get, like, three, too. I don't know. No, when you come back, like... Oh, that. I forgot what it's called. But, like, the Returners Rewards type stuff. Okay. Mm. Let's play this before we do the story quest just to give people time to come in. <gasps> okay, this gun rates all organisms within its line of sight. Its scoring logic is unknown. Its eyes constantly scan its surroundings and then it announces a random score. But is its scoring really devoid of methodology? Or is it that no one has figured out its pattern yet? Let's spend some time studying its pattern. Dang, okay. That's all right. Could it really be a genius? Let's do a retry just to see what we get. Oh God. Well, this is still a success, so I guess. It really is Mario Party, like HSR edition. It's really funny. Oh. Oh, one of these. But now the hurts a puppet before you is full of joy. Warmly holding your... Just respond in kind. What do we get for here? Whatever, it's a success, you know? That's fine. Today's not the date. What happened? Oh shit, Mike, everything okay? Oh man. Um. Two. Oh? Of course, I'll purchase a house. Let's go for here. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Archangel. One. After flipping over a cookie with the bomb image, final rewards be calculated. Sure. Fully. Sure. Okay. Let's go this way. No. Oh my god. Cookies are a lie. Oven is the enemy. No! Cookie flipping is over. Oh man. I'm. S First I wake up, my throat is more sore than yesterday. <gasps> Oh, God, I hope things get better. Oh. That freaking sucks. Hmm. Let's try my luck. Nothing happened? Uh-oh. There we go. I think the t you got the same result? Oh. Oh, this is cute. Of course, I'll claim these. One of those days where I want to call my mom and be like, Mom, take care of me, please. 
I don't blame you. Hi, my Senna. How are you? Lovers, lovers. Yes, lovers. Sweet. Thank you so much. Ba Thank you, Bustek, for the follow. So you plan on recording this new Star Wars story quest on YouTube? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh. Which Astral Express navigator? There's a new ghost story floating about in the space station. Unknowingly, you also accepted a mission from Adler. When faced with a mission that doesn't pique your interest, but must be completed nonetheless. Um, I guess let's just carry on. Really? You learned some fresh gossip about the space station from Richard Know-It-All, and, and it's related to Asta. I guess we could do that. This is kind of hard. You and Arlon are having a disagreement on which route to walk. Peppy. Sign. Well, let's ask Peppy. That's so funny. Peppy shakes its head, disappointing the both of you. Bye. Even got it in Genshin again? I don't blame you because, like, this patch is pretty filler for Genshin right now. So it's kind of, you know. Um, you already know that even geniuses will fight among themselves. Yes, they do. Or it can be said that they don't see the direction the moon is going. I would love to do an HSR community voice quest. Hi, Azeroth. Yo! First in my heart. You're first in my heart. <laughs> Let's go for a barbecue. True. Current test progress. Okay. Mm. And there, it'll be in the report, too. Unlock the report. Okay. This is so funny. Ooh, as long as you keep... Okay. Cute. I'm not affected by buffs. Oh, so we got like a new... Interesting. Past that. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep going with it. Two! Jump, jump! Select suitable assignees. Sure. Who's the best person to write scripts for stage plays? Oh my god, it's Sparkle. It's actually Sparkle. Who is the best person to set up the stage? I want to say it's Serval because, like, Serval's in a band, okay? Serval is, Serval is a performer. And to have a good performance, you have to have a good setup, right? So it's Serval. And who's the best person to play the protagonist? Um, well, here's the thing. Jepard would make a good cookie cutter protagonist if you want the movie to be mediocre. Nothing too good, nothing too bad. Acheron is pretty crazy. Uh, and then also, Yan Ching is the protagonist in my fucking Lost 50 50s. Sorry. I'm going to say Acheron, yeah. I've been loving the I've been loving the update, Kyle. Yes, he has such main girl syndrome due to his like baby girlness, right? Yanqing is the protagonist of, like, my Lost of 250s, truly. I'm sorry. Hmm. Let's do this. <gasps> wow! Alright, let's go this way. Woohoo! Current Trailblaze funds are looking great right now. Select your path. Ooh, I want to go this way. This looks great. Ooh, add stakes? Okay, wait. You can actually do extra stakes. Ain't this like that one website that got banned off of Twitch? Speaking of Twitch bans, okay, not... it's This isn't a ban or whatever, but... Well, it's not a person ban, but it is a uh, Twitch meta type of ban. Have you guys heard about the new thing they're implementing? I think starting on the 29th or something. Where is it? No? Okay, hold on, hold on. You know the Twitch meta that they've been doing? Like, remember when I told you a couple days ago about, like, this one girl who green screened her shorts so that you can see the Fortnite gameplay on her butt? You know all those streams like that? Like, where they, it's that type of Twitch meta? Um, hold on. Yeah, so they Twitch actually has... They've been trying to find a way to end that meta forever because these people keep on finding ways around that. Right? And, um, basically, so, um, starting on Friday, starting this Friday, 
Content focusing on intimate body parts for prolonged periods is no longer allowed. So no, the Twitch meta is actually going to be over now because it was going on for a while. But now they straight up just like they made it broad enough to where it's like, yeah, just content that focuses on intimate body parts for like a long period of time where they're just you just if you're all up in there. It's just not allowed. So no more. No more. It's crazy because the meta they were getting away with it forever. And now they finally found a way to, like, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. That's so crazy. <laughs> let's do, um, let's do twice the stakes. Because I have problems. Okay. Oh. That was quite a success. Until they find the next loophole. I, I don't know if you can even find a loophole around that one, though. Let's watch the meteor shower. Oh my god. Aw, yeah, that's a success. Hi, Rico. How are you? Hello, hello. Not Sampo again. <gasps> I was like, I fell asleep to the song last night. I love this song, man. It it just. Uh, hi, Excel. Hi, Excel Foxix. How are you? What's up? Hmm. Yup. But I'm glad you're good. Yes. Nice. We're doing pretty good on this. I feel like doing more. Oh, that's a. Damn, I'm scoring. I got some rewards out of this too. If Genshin doesn't get me all bit, I'm good. Yeah, thank you for asking. Thank you so much. This is such a cute picture of Sila. Oh. Help her clear her mind first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the song. If you guys are ever wondering what song is currently on, just do exclamation song. Nice. Of course, I'll buy that. But it's Song of the Ancients from Near, Near. Oh, the end. Oh, cool. Your friend, old Sampo. Oh, our friend, our greatest friend. Oh, <laughs> Sebastian, oh my gosh. Remember how I redeemed an account review last night? Could I apply that to a multi-character review for HSR? I don't know, let me ask that with Angel, actually. I, hmm. I don't see a problem with that, actually. You know what? Yeah, that's fine, that's not a problem. Let's do it, let's do it, yeah. Why not? Yeah. This time you're perfectly sure who's framed. Da 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 dun dun dun. Yeah, but that sounds good, Sabine. I'm down. Perfect. Let's go. They put a dating, not a dating sim, not log into HSR. Yeah, just the UID, but look at like more than two characters. That's fine. Oh, Enka, Enka, yeah. That's fine, that's no problem. Yes, absolutely. That sounds good to me. All right, that's all my dice. That's all my dice. So I'm gonna use these babies up and um, yeah, it's the board game. It's the board game, silly. Um, what I also want to do is... Dun, 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 
Not relics. It's the traces that I was looking for. Okay, there we go. Yay! Another one to two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sounds good to me. I'm down. Perfect. I could also... Really? Oh, I'm... Of course I... Those TikToks. They can be fun. Da -da -da -da. Oh, more wishes are gonna come in, like, not that long. Okay. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me do this. So, let's review some characters for Pierre Sabine. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So, Akron, and then I could pick another... Let's pick another two for Akron. I'm down. You sure you want to use it for that? I know that's like that redeem is a lot of points. Let me know. I don't mind as long as you don't mind, you know? To fit both in the medium and bigger parts of the same material. Yes, it's so convenient. It it It's just a lot less clicking. Okay. So, you're Ac I've been seeing Akron's already built. The word game that I normally allow the viewers to play, it's called Words on Stream. Yeah. I can easy clear abyss and HSR as a story side game. Oh, okay, damn! Oh, you flexing! <laughs> Alright, sounds good to me. So, um, my voice is shot, by the way, guys. I'm so sorry. You have a four-piece pioneer of the dead waters, or pioneer diver, damn, and a two-piece Izumo. So that's really good. So let me see for here. You have crit damage, which is good that you have that. Also, um, it's good that this four-piece set increases your crit, your crit rate. It increases it by like four percent or whatever but that's fine it also it also increases your crit rate with the uh, your easement again save set also increases crit rate so this is actually absolutely totally cool um this is looking really good yeah this is looking good so this is e2 this is e2 it's crazy out here but let me see for here um you have crit damage here you have speed here good she's at 128 speed that's good because she's supposed to be at least 101 so this is above above beyond and you have both attack. You're actually, yep, you're, you're supposed to have attack on both of this for your, um, for your set here. This is good. I love this. I love that you have everything maxed out. You have her light cone. I'm surprised you didn't refine it too. Yee. Right? This is so good. The relics are great too. Look at the freaking crit damage on four pieces total. 15.5, 11%, 11.6, 11.6. Hi, buddy wonderful how about you this is so freaking good you have every stat pretty good um including yeah including speed including crit damage for sure and even crit rate yeah that's good she's supposed to have at least 101 speed like 101 speed at least speed is better so the thing is that with the buffs though i think i think that this is higher because the pioneer um the four piece pioneer it increases crit rate and um, so does the two-piece um, Izumo set. But it, it increases that by 12% here, and it increases by 4% here. You know? Hi, Maxton. How are you? Hi! This, we're just doing HSR. Um, we're just doing HSR build reviews and stuff. Yeah. Yes, both attack orb and rope. Yeah, for, for Acheron specifically. E1 also increases crit rate. Oh, shit. That's actually even better. Um, let me see for here. <whistles> mommy, you good? Thank you, good mommy. She's getting all her joints. Thank you. Okay. Oh, she's fine. Okay. Yep, she just want to go back and bark. All right. That's how you know she's fine. Um. Dog. <laughs> uh. You want me, you're, you're fun with me reviewing two other characters. Can I review our Nihility women? Our Kafka and Black Swan? Or do you want me to just not pick them? How are you feeling? We, well, we don't have to always look at the same people. I'm sorry. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Yay. All right. So Kafka, E2, beautiful. Her light cone is there as well. I love that for her. She has a four-piece band of sizzling thunder. All right. So here's the shebang. Here's the news. It turns out that the four-piece prisoner in deep confinement is actually the best in slot now. So you might have to, you know, no, you're fine. It's okay, Chiori. It's it's a very Chiori thing to do. <laughs> um, 
You have a two-piece firmament as well. Two-piece firmament, still best in slot. That's totally fine. But if you want to go for, like, the best in slot now for this four-piece, it's now Prisoner in Deep Confinement. So it's up to you. The four-piece band is still amazing. Yeah, Black Swan has Prisoner. Yep, Black Swan has Prisoner. That makes sense. Um, but her speed is looking great. It's, like, 135. Yum. That's actually really good because it's supposed to be at least 134. Um, prisoner was not happy with you. Oh, like not happy enough to give you a good four piece for both. That makes sense. Sorry. That makes sense. It's better to have it on black swan than if you have to choose. Um, your effect hit rate is a lot more than it has to be, which is good. That's totally fine. Um, HP defense is good. Um, no, oh, this is a flex speed boots. Ooh. And then lightning damage and attack. It means it's in prison. Trust me, that prisoner isn't happy with any... That's very fair. That's a good point. Shoot. Um, <laughs> let me see for here. And then also, uh, this is... I love the E2. What about Black Swan? <gasps> Black Swan! Oh my god, I'm surprised you didn't get her like. <laughs> All right, let me see. Um... Yeah, for like builder views, if they use their channel points. For Black Swan here, you do have four-piece prisoner. And then you also have a two-piece firmament, which you need... Yep, you need to have at least 135 speed for it. And you do have over 135 speed. Um, that's totally fine. So that's good. That passes. She's maxed as well. And Eyes of the Prey is good to have on um, Black Swan, you know, e, uh, S5, if possible, which you do have. Your effect hit rate is above... One t Ooh, it's above 120. Good. Hi, Doki. What's up? You have effect hit rate, speed. You really have just about everything that you need to have for her. Yeah, you have it all pretty set. Your speed is good. Your speed is great, actually. Your speed is great. It's almost 143. Because it needs to be at least 134. But this is... Your meeting requirement's pretty great. All right. Good. Good. I'm glad that you... It, it, since you had to choose, I'm glad you put it on Black Swan, the four-piece prisoner set, rather than on Kafka. Because I feel like Black Swan probably might need it more. But it depends. Well, eh, yeah. Hi, Haunted Sailors. Thank you for the three stream streak. Thank you, lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's an account review. Yes. Um, You build your black swan right now? Bet. Get that four piece prisoner. Just a prisoner of love. Just a prisoner of love. Just a prisoner of love. <laughs> I'm going to go to the parlor car and see if I have any, um... Whoa! Oh, come here! Pom -pom. Hi, Sila! Huh? I've been reading... <laughs> Hi, Sila! Okay, bye, Sila! Goodbye! This way! Hi, Luca! I found some extra chance spin. Take it! Nope. Oh, thanks! Thanks for the jades! Thank you. All right, so we have our stuff here. Um, what I want to do is... I think I just want to get straight into it, you guys. I think it's time. What I want to do is I actually want to start doing the story quest. I know that some people get, you know, nervous because of, of spoilers and stuff like that. So if you guys do need to lurk or anything like that because you don't want to be spoiled, I understand. But I'm going to start the story quest now, you know. I'm excited to do... I'm going to turn off all alerts. So I'm going to mute the alerts. So any follows, any subs... Thank you so much in advance, but I am going to mute everything. Um, no worries. Thank you. All alerts are muted as I am doing the story quest. Thank you. All right. I'll go. All right. Bet, bet, bet. Anyone who's a PC and Discord downloaded has been. I'm going to watch you even though. Oh, Endo, thank you so much. Okay, should I do that? Um, let me actually do the message like this. Oh, you got spoiled? I'm so sorry. I am I am gonna keep it pinned. Um, but I'm wondering if I should change the message, that's why.
Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. All right, you guys, here we are. Let's get this show on the freaking road. Almost. All right, let's go for here. Okay. I am going to start this baby up in about five, four, three, two. What's up, YouTube? It is Coconata here, and today we are continuing the big trailblazer quest for Penacony and Honkai Star Rail in general. We had this five and a half hour not complaining, but like, it was amazing. This five and a half hours just full of twists and turns and deaths. I can say it now without worrying about spoiling anybody. But now we're gonna see what goes on in the second part. I'm still thinking about Firefly. I'm definitely also still thinking about Robin. They're still in my head and I just, I need to know what's going on. I have heard some theories about like Sam perhaps being Firefly, Firefly perhaps being Sam. Um, I've heard a lot of other things like that too. We're gonna, we're gonna check. And we're going to put all the pieces together. My voice is a little shot because I was doing a lot of viewer polls yesterday. So it was very, it was very hype. But today we might cry. So, you know, that's just the roller coaster Star Rail gives you. It is what it is. Also, if you got Acheron, congratulations. And if you didn't, I hope you get her if you're able to. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Let's go part two. So the devil in velvet. Let's go talk to Adventuring. Great. All right, Aventurine, what do you have for us? I know some people really like Aventurine, but for me, I just, the way he says friend, like it's so, you can't trust anybody here, can you? But it is what it is. It's fine. Ah, get out of my room. <laughs> so sorry. Hi. How are you doing? Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. He, he should sound more like sad about it, but he doesn't. Did you get her? Oh God, I don't know if I need a recap, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but how is that possible? Could Robin actually... Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? Mm -hmm. I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't He's believe so me, just ask too. anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. Mm. The most basic light cone manifesting tech, authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Why would he be sad though? Not like they knew each other. It's just like, if I see a dead person in front of me, like I'm gonna be sad, like, oh man, damn rip. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like if you see somebody dead in front of you, how would you feel? I know even if we don't know each other, like if it was like a stranger, I would be scared, but then I'll be sad. <laughs> I don't know. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Mm -hmm. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. I keep saying friend, bro. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. Oh, and Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Ugh. This really is hard to take in. 
But that's just one side of the story. And if that's the case, I can't trust anyone. I can't trust anybody. It's true. It's true. I can't trust you. I can't trust them. I can't trust it's me. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Hmm. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. Oh no. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Okay. You have a good point there. Who's For to once. say there isn't an even deeper Ooh. conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Oh, uh, hello, Mother. Hi. Hello, Keeper. I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. Mm. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. What? I told you, I'm just what? not interested in scrambling <laughs> for the legacy. I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This ah. has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. Hey, still are on. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Jesus. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I've got something on right now, and besides, I can't trust you. All right, I'm feeling inquisitive. What kind of help? Friends. I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Mm. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin while also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly okay. a once-in-a-blue-moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, mm -hmm. so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. Yeah, of course. But FBI I trust PC, that there the are still a I few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Very transactional. He's... Uh, such a transactional man, but whatever. Um, you know what's funny? The, off topic, but I just remember somebody from chat telling me yesterday, Robin was an idol, and now she's just idle. My delivery was terrible, but like, it was the best joke, the way that they said it. But let me get back on track. <clears throat> you want to take advantage of the family's trust in us? The Nameless would never associate with the IPC. <sighs> a decision like this is way above my pay grade. Don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. Mm. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Ugh, whatever. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. 
Don't mention it. Thanks. I'm gonna use it for So food. long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Hm. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. Something or like more than just something. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? She is so beautiful. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I did. I did watch the um, Acheron trailer. Oh my god. One of the best trailers ever. Hey. What's up, Black Swan? Talk On to me. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. Those hips are crazy! But Venturine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. And deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. Mm -hmm. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. <laughs> yeah, of course. The Nameless cannot turn a blind eye to evil. For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of all this. This is the option I'm thinking. Playing it safe seems to be the smarter move, or can I toss a die to let it decide for me? I feel like for Firefly's sake, we, that is something I agree on. Anyway, be Aww, careful you out agree there. With it. Thanks. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Of course. As for the other questions, hmm. did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound yeah. looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Mm. Do you think this is connected to Acheron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. Huh? That ranger is shrouded in mystery. Oh. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. Fair, you were trying but to But without a her. doubt, <laughs> she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. So you can be, like, with her? I'm just kidding, no, I, I understand. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span, in yeah. and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. Mm-hmm. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. See how it's bolded too? I don't have any other questions. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Black Swan leads you through the chaotic dreamscape. Okay. Hey! Come, this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. <laughs> I've been through this place so many times to get those birds. I think I'm fine. <laughs> See, I voice cracked because I'm just so, like, adamant. Hmm. This way. This is where we part ways. Oh. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. 
But follow your heart, and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. What's up? Black Swan gently touches the root of your ear, leaving a cool sensation. There you go. Oh! A small sorry. parting gift. There's a if card one over day me? you unfortunately inside? fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Okay, all right. I also Wait. pay great Thank attention you. to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Thank you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Uh -huh. Let's leave things there, shall we? What oh. fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. <laughs> Alright, shoot. I like the song, by the way. Hey! It's the Astral Express Bam. Have you run into trouble? We got separated in the memory zone, but not those with the memo keeper. I feel so antsy. Aw, it's fine. I'm done. Where should we meet? Nada. <laughs> um. Aw, thank you, Kimiko. This is important to offer the family. We're wrapping up negotiations with, this, with some family delegates. Let's meet somewhere near the clocky statue later. Okay. A That's fine. Family rep. Is Himiko okay? Ooh! Ooh! Fate's a pistol. So, the parting gift from Black Swan. A tiny card numbered zero. Seemingly absent from the Black Swan's collection. It's so pretty, too. Ooh! In the card's art, she casts her gaze into the mist of destiny. If one day you have unfortunately sunk into the memory zone's deep seas without Memo Keeper by herself, it will guide you out on my behalf. Thank you! It says three star, but like it's a five star gift to me. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Come on, Kafka. Let's go. Oh, I should have just gone down that way. Whatever. Let's go. Off the list. All right, let's so wait for much it has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. We're just having like serious pondering and these kids are just jumping around for a picture. That's kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. Some time ago, deep in memory zone. Oh. Oh. Well, okay, more Sam. Do you still dream hunter? Of those slain by your hand. Sam, I am. What did you do? <sighs> oh my god. Days ago, Everflame Mansion. <sighs> what? Hey, it's Duke Inferno. It appears the outcome has already been Oh, does she kill? What? Oh, she kill. Oh? Still alive. As are you. Okay, hold on, hold on. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Mm. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus <sighs> Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Huh. Ranger. You'll tread the narrow path of the heart. Oh my god. You could never understand. We come from the fire. First and of all, she's the Hillity. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. In fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. 
from the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Oh my God. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are Oh, friends. they're my children. It's not a very father of you. Burn white heart. Oh. They're still young, and I don't believe them. But my flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, I must surpass you. Mm. Why? Yeah. Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Mm -hmm. You cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword, for we shall oh indeed my God. be here, bound to Ugh. fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Wait, I want to see this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. God. See the deepness Just of this is crazy. Sweet dreams <laughs> may be born of the void. The so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. I accept. Oh god, it's happening. It's happening. You shall witness. The most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Bottomless dream, yeah. Yes, that's, weird. that's right. <sighs> You've made one small mistake. What is it? This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the tip, on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. Oh my god. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. I told I told you. <laughs> we we been here, by the way. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Oh, God. Guiding you back to the waking world. So accurate! Oh, God, it's happening. Oh, God. I still see them in my dreams. Oh, never mind. Wait, but what, 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 what? Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. <laughs> what? My time. Sam. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. Mm -hmm. And you're no different. Disguise, we're you talking about- You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? Mm-hmm. <sighs> say it, say it, say did it. Did Destiny's slave make you do it? Destiny's slave? You Destiny's know. Elio. Elio! I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. Yes, yes. My More Elio lore. Script. 
has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. Hmm. That's not what I asked. Oh god, he's merciless. I'm scared. Curiosity. I don't know. I feel like loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. Ayo. What? Reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Oh, me too. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. She's actually just like me. So. So. Yeah. I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> what? How is it? it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, imagine it's if it's Firefly. Yet time. Like people said, no, um, that might be cope though. I don't need help. I, no, but it's, I can that's a lie. give okay, you a know. suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Come on! If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, mm -hmm. But they're burying the past and, and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. <laughs> and the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I'm so glad you're sticking up for that. Sam. <laughs> Relatively. I just never expected to hear you say it. I'm, I'm surprised seven. that he said it too, because I've always heard he's very the merciless. Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Didn't even Kafka have a line about him? For her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Huh. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this. It in really an is a tease. Like, we're, more direct I guess way. we won't see who Sam is until like, the next see, quest. Here uh, I am, uh, confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. Yeah. The so-called uh. impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Damn, he's serving! Okay! Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get oh to God, leave in that. The iron red. Future foreseen by destiny. You actually want to know it? Okay. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <sighs> I knew it. That sucks. Hang on. What? I. don't. You don't what? Don't what? Don't what? Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Oh, the way he said died. I don't. Never have. Yep, he's still pretty merciless. I was born without oh. the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light. And to burn. To keep on burning. Until I turn to ash. So, I really envy you. Is that so? Huh. And you're already living in the waking world. That's... 
That's the first time I've heard any type of emotion and stuff from, from Sam. I... Present day. Golden hour. Okay! Sam! We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. I feel for Sam, man. we never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry. That I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Yeah. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. I wonder if we'll even be able to do that this quest. Let's at this recap point. Like... everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this, and we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time, mm -hmm. and he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. That's a good the point. Pinnacle, please. I'm scared. I'm sorry, but like, anytime I see her, death, I'll please go back in the express. Out, I'm scared. Pinnacle is going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. Mm. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. Good point. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. He really is up to no good. The Venturian is on guard against Acheron. Huh. Indeed. I don't know. He was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. Yeah. Yep. Are yes, we he was. missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Venturian's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. <laughs> Honestly. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Yeah. Plus, Seems nobody really has ill this is the family's turf. The Astral Express right now. Teaming up with them should make right things now? easier for us in the future. Hey, Nico, no, As get back on the train, please. Mean, Everybody else can go, though. Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Ugh. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. Mm -hmm. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but. The intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never yeah. let them get too close. You can't get too close. Teaming yeah. up with the IPC with helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, Ugh. we have the option to pull out. Uh huh. Team up with IBC. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only it's wait until strange, both sides man. have played their cards before making any further judgments. Yeah, nobody can be trusted at Pentecost. I get Literally. why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. 
I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. We're all gonna get She's stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times. I think now, we're all gonna get stabbed in the back here. It anymore. <laughs> it's fine. Let's focus on the big picture for now. <laughs> I got a lot out of him too, anyway, and you can bully me whenever. Just kidding. Please don't. Let's just focus on the bigger uh -huh. picture. You're like a broken record. Uh, whatever, damn it. You have a better uh, idea? Forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay. Alright, we'll collaborate. On our new hit single. Stabbed in the back, featuring Aventurine and Acheron. Ugh. Here's a small something. Oh, thank you! Thanks for the money. Thanks, boss. Wowee, what the fuck? Oh my god, you can't be serious. What? Sent too early. Oh, thanks! Thank you! You know what? Actually, I think I think we'll be fine teaming up with him. You know what? Forget everything I said, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, I look forward to outstanding performance from you guys. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Thank you for the money, though. So just as I anticipated, the family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug for as long as they can. So her case is only a secret between us. It depends on excuses for the other case that they've prepared for us. Okay. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. I... Oh, what's this? Clocky smile forever radiant. It's not yet known if his days can reach every dark corner in the realm of dreams. Oh. Okay. Here we go! Okay, Adventure guess what? Adventurine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? Mm -hmm. It's gotta be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps he's going for the hotel? An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Hmm. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe he's going for the family. <laughs> he's definitely going for the family. Of course. And it's just a matter of <laughs> I just wanted how. to see what she would say. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's going for Acheron. Venturine has devoted considerable attention to her, but this Galaxy Ranger, mm -hmm. we know hardly anything about her. I can't rush to any conclusions. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I guess he's going for the... Astral Express. Hmm, I was also considering this possibility. Maybe you shouldn't get back on the train. Especially I because train. he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. <sighs> well, in that case... No conclusions can be drawn just yet. I'm just speculating. <laughs> In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. Mm -hmm. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Of course he is. Oh God, all right, let's talk to March. Where is she? Or you know what, let's just talk to Well first. Hi! Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that which, galaxy which ranger statement? of which killing part? Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. Mm -hmm. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. 
Scapegoating. But why, though? Maybe Adventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Mm. Two birds, one stone. That's... However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Adventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acker? Oh, me? Um, she's a very gentle woman. No, she's not. She's a very mysterious woman? Yeah. I can seem to remember. She's powerful, but she's very mysterious. Let's just say that. She's very mysterious. <gasps> Wait, what? Weird. I can't seem to remember. Whoa! What? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Mm -hmm. That's strange. All right, I guess let's just talk to Marge. Okay, Marge, tell me what just happened. Okay, so tell me how. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. So pretty. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. You and the rest of the fandom. But that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. Oh. But everything's just some horrible prank. Aw, March. That's called copium. We've dealt with it many times here. <laughs> because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Oh, I just remembered we're getting dual perspectives in this quest. Because I remember that they were talking about that in the live stream. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, okay, well, dual, you know, like, switching perspectives. That's going to be great. Like, differing POVs. Hmm. Do you think the family is behind all this? Either way, we'll restore all the dreams back to normal. I hope. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Ah, <laughs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Yeah, much. Uh. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's <laughs> assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? I'm thinking about Bellabog too. Like Among Bellabog, the clues, they, Bellabog's the had its moments too, but like she witnessed are the most things have connected. just been getting more intense since then. My I God. suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Yeah. Seeing as we're at the family's question. behest. Why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation <gasps> back at okay. the hotel? Okay. Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing okay. on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Huh? Aww. That's... I thought I'd finally get to right? see Himiko and hell? Mr. Yang go out on a well, mission Well, aren't you together. literally supposed to be protecting Himiko? Oh, well. So that we don't Take get a repeat of Mr. Yang. what happened in the other universe? Like, what the hell? I will. Keep in touch. Well, to... Ugh. Oh, my God. Unless... <gasps> hmm. Wait. Wait. Unless Sparkle's got a hold of him. 
honored is it... guest. Uh, could you come out for a second? Is it Sparkle? Is she back? Wait a minute. Oh, Acheron! Ha! I'd be Ooh. embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew <laughs> members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt's pretty smart for that. Well. All right. Is there something about my name? That's familiar. First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? <laughs> Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. Uh, are the you? Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Ifrit. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. Hmm. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. That's so you must crazy. surely know, Miss Acheron, <gasps> that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. I'm so glad that Welt's power is getting like highlighted Reveal in this. your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Okay. It right. shouldn't be necessary. Well, it's actually getting like but if it makes assertive the right now. Less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. His Honkai Impact Believe 3rd is coming not, out. Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? Oh my god. Maybe she's not that forgot. I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Yeah, isn't this the first time story wise Everyone that he's actually threatened to bring out the black hole? Like secrets that they don't want to be revealed. In Star Rail? And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. Uh well. Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. This is I've actually run around many different Panacone dreams actually just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Hmm. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Yeah, I gotta see more of the family after all this talk about them. Let's leave it at that. Oh. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't God. want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? What? No. Four cups. <laughs> uh, um... Because the conversation coming up will last forever.
the same time. Hotel in the real world. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, <laughs> chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. Oh, it's up. actually called that. I told it's her actually it's actually a pungent, that? <laughs> bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glass. <laughs> and she said, hmm. Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. <laughs> was that was that Akron's VA? For that part. That was so cute. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. Yeah, I've never seen Hoyo like highlight any words in quest until. It's a here. cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the annihilation. Different colors game. on words, like there are red until memories that last, linger on uh, it yet. Quest. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Oh, okay. Gradation. 12. Dreamscape. 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. This is... Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go... Man, what kind of memo keeping is this? ...shall be met by annihilation. Ah. <sighs> there it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... Oh, Duber's the puppet girl from the trailer? Oh, from that one trailer? Okay, oh, wow. I wouldn't have remembered, actually. Thank you for that. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest. Nice. Away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Oh my god, we're hearing. Oh. Yeah, we're hearing Duke Inferno and stuff. And when has thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? Huh. The Everflame Mansion has set out on yeah, a we're journey. Yeah, Duke and, and Dubra. Those poor and, people. Um, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Oh, God. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. Mm. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> what? What happened? What? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... What the heck? It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? What's going on, dude? What? Who are you? Who? Who are you? Okay, no, this is freaky. This is really freaky. It's Whose voices is that? No. Is this not a memory? Oh, oh. they found you out. A memo keeper. They found you Do out. Do you serve oh the Garden God. of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Constance! A pleasure oh my god! To meet you. 
Constance? We're supposed to Yo! Wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god, Constance. <laughs> Unforgettable. Time together. Constance was my fave. In that one uh, that trailer. Seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store. And I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you. I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then mm -hmm. you can enjoy the banquet for me. Oh my god. I wish you unforgettable memories. That is so freaky, dude. Oh. I'm scared for Black Swan, though. I really A am. Phone. Wanna listen in? I'm nervous because between this and, um, this moment on the other side are we gonna see them <laughs> what wait what a few days ago the ipc made an announcement under the watchful guidance of the marketing development department and in accordance with the interstellar peace charter the independent sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is mm -hmm. of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. Okay. This is why okay. very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid oh, desert. desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Huh. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. What is going on? Land of Why am I nervous? But not water. Lightning. But not rain. Blood. But not tears. Mm. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash not us rain. with wind not rain, and not storm. Tears. You chew us up with the cracked earth. Jesus. You promised us a land of honey, oh. yet yoked us beneath a sword of oh, bitterness. Oh. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, Think about it. if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, his father, my child, was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went. Okay. Blonde baby. I too. Who else is blonde? So must go. Oh, Vendrine's blonde. Okay. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? God. Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Indeed. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Oh, but mommy's, mommy's. Oh. Raining? Oh. <gasps> raining. <gasps> it is raining. 
thing is true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Are you going to have him go back home alone? <gasps> oh, no. Back home. Gayathra <sighs> Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling. Listen, this is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. <laughs> May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Oh God. Keep your blood Eternally pulsing. It's like a ritual, like what no. Come on. Oh. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Welcome to this sad world. Kakavasha. Kakavasha. Such a beautiful name, my god. It's a beautiful name. Time to wake up, gambler. Okay, it's adventuring. <laughs> it's adventuring! Oh my god! Oh heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. Huh. How is it? Find anything? Just as you oh! guessed. Hey, Virgil. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. <laughs> There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using it's a good to see him again. Guess. They must be dreaming. I love seeing them together too. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Tested and bold, what? Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> oh my god. Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Hmm. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When mm -hmm. I graciously deigned Sorry. to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Mm. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was Shoot. a stowaway. Let's see if Aventurian already knows the details, Two though. Two murder cases? Yep. <laughs> I told you something Firefly. seemed off about the nameless. R.A.P. Oh, she must have come across the other one. Uh, <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have <laughs> to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Mm. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two oh, murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have I'd you already see. exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? <laughs> oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward 
must be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She huh. has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any what? voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. What? If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Okay, okay. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I but could I to meet her. I... But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete yeah. and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. Hmm. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. Hmm. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. Oh my god. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Oh, why you see it like that? That man. Hey. <laughs> Jesus. He is savage. Sunday. Oh, Sunday. <sighs> He's not jealous. <laughs> just getting all Is this a plane. public hearing or a private trial? <laughs> if it were the former. It would hardly befit my stature to stoop <laughs> to the role of a mere messenger. God, he's so angry all the time <sighs> with him. Fine. But he still talks with him. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, mm -hmm. but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. It is crazy. Like, wouldn't you be like sobbing? Well, without and stuff? any further ado, it's let's weird. set off. I'll be sobbing. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Interesting. Very interesting. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacom. I love how they're posing together for this. Like, I don't know. Fortress? It's funny. <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. Mm -hmm. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without Ooh, his express mansion, invitation, baby. the likes right, of up. ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Yeah, Ratio is extremely blunt with it. Um, poof. <laughs> it is crazy. Like, what doesn't belong to Sunday? I just noticed that Akron is just Welt Yang, but as a DPS, and that Welt's ultimate cover- Oh yes! Covers an entire continent when he slides it in two. It's crazy. Hi y'all! Give me just a sec, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. BRB. Seems about overlapping, overlapping Annie's path, completely killing her. See, that's how Z became an Eon. Huh. Be right back, y'all.
All right, I'm back. Oh my God, CNC, thank you so much for the raid, lovely. How are you? I hope you're doing well. All right, guys, let's get back into this baby. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? Ah, uh, you won't. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> when we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer. I just have a good him. feeling. <laughs> Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. This is so crazy. Like, I don't know. Oh, hey. Oh, POV switched. So as the story unfolds, you will have the chance to progress the story from other characters' point of view. When entering a character's POV for the first time, that character will automatically be placed first in your team. You can check the Fates Atlas interface to see which character's POV an ongoing mission or completed mission is in. Oh, okay. If you need to change your POV to continue the story, you can select here to enter Fates Ensemble. For more details, please see tutorials. I wasn't expecting Aventury to be the first person I would do this POV switch with, but it's cool. All right, let's go. Hey, Hendrik. This is so funny. Hey, look at me. <laughs> all right, all right, I need, I need to continue. Hi, what's up? Hi, Hendrik. Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. I was hmm. requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. God, he sounds so rough. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. He's so rude. <laughs> oh, I, love it. I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. <laughs> of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. Oh my god. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Hmm. Uh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Oh my god. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Well, I uh, think you kind of... Okay, so I want to press on this. So it's Trailblazer or Aventurine. Not the best options, but options nonetheless. I'm so sorry. I need to stop. <laughs> A dead end? <laughs> the door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, mm -hmm. with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Oh! Oh, cool. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Mm -hmm. well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. You would talk about brute force. Whatever. Um, let's obtain the clue regarding the Nightingale statue. Sure. Ah. Oh, it's gonna be more of, um, yeah, more of these. So, obtain the clue once again. Hi. I got a chest, but that's not how we get there. It's, um, let's. Not what I meant. <laughs> let's go around this way. Oh, 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 no, no, don't look at me. I'm not here. Nope. You know what? Um. Oh, God, there's another one. Oh, Jesus. What am I so afraid of? Is a great question. Let's see if I can get in time. Boom! Let's go. And now this way. Six nightingales hmm. facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Of course. Mm. But are these nightingales? Why do I feel like I should take a picture they of this? They are. I'm gonna do something very old. What's lady. wrong? Just in case. How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. 
There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <laughs> <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? The two return on the path they came from. All right. Solve the puzzle regarding the Nightingale statue. So use the function. Oh, never mind the. Okay, that's cool. Um. Sure. So this guy. Let's get. Wait. Let me make sure I'm doing the position right. So the wall, not this door. We gotta get him to look this way. So turn. Yeah. Clockwise. One more time. Let's. You're actually fine. What about you, friend? You're fine too, funny enough. But these guys, let's turn you counterclockwise. But they're both looking weird. Uh, whatever, clockwise it is. And then you are going to turn clockwise. Yeah, they're both looking the same way though, but whatever, that's fine. Just as I thought, here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should <laughs> offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Oh, you're being so sarcastic. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that. I think already. he's being sarcastic, Aventurine. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Can't you tell? I could tell somebody who also has autism, like the type of sarcasm we would use. Because usually I suck at detecting sarcasm, but like when another autistic person does, I, I mean, he's a character, but like I could just, I could, I just, I got it. I, it's like telepathy, guys. <laughs> All right, Dream Master Hall. Oh, impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacony. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. See? He's saying stop wasting your time, not his, because Ratio enjoys spending time with Aventurine. I'm coping, but like, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. The only way to destroy the family is death. Hmm. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. He knows he enjoys spending time with Aventurine. I don't care, I don't care what anyone says. Oh, what? This is a nice place. What the hell is that? Oh, cool. Okay. I haven't seen the enemy before. Um, down this way. Here we are. Hold on. What? Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. <laughs> My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. Oh, God. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. Eh, uh, you'll be fine. That's some shit you'd oh, probably like to do, too. an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. This thing? I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. <laughs> this place looks really cool though, damn. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. <laughs> I believe hmm. you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. He's not so bitter well, With always, your brilliant you know? mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. <laughs> of course he's gonna show up. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Mm-hmm. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel <laughs> that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Uh, I'm not here, actually. I'm just chilling. You know what I should do? Let me get my, um... Oh, crap. Let's get the team set up. Let's switch to Sila. Not me. <laughs> okay, no, let me actually switch to Sila now. Hey, Sila. 
Thanks. Oh, it's here. Cool. <laughs> God, that's so good. You know, I do have Akron, so I could, like, use... Mm, you know what? I should do that next time. Found I think it. I will. This is it. Akron has nothing on her right now, because I still don't have her light cone yet, but it's... It's fine. Um... Yeah, I do have Sparkle. I have every character. Oh. Eh. Oh, hey! Oh, wait. I got distracted again. Unless it really is. No, it is. This is... Okay. Okay. Scatter pieces. Let's do that now. I was trying to get that. It wasn't working out. One piece. Two piece. Well, I should probably, um, oh darn. Look for the sand, sand pit clue in the treasure room. But, of course, trying to make it to, ah, okay. Well, all right, let's do this again. I'm gonna do something risky because we do have Akron, but she has nothing on her. So if I mess this up, I'm kind of screwed. Um, All let's, or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's. <laughs> of course, you would say that. All right. I need to make sure I can find a way to get up there. So if an enemy notices me, which hopefully they don't, that'll be bad. Oh God! No! 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 No, 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 no. I just, I just got back to the same place. I literally, okay. All right, hold on. Sorry. Ugh. Boo! If I go, if I just stop being scared. trying to figure out how exactly to get to there. Which makes things a little tricky and trippy. But we'll be fine, right? Right? How am I messing this up? I swear, am I? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Not the whole time I was there. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's fine. I I was actually testing you guys to see if you guys knew. Yeah. Uh, yep, and you guys passed. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. But that's still not how we get to there. Huh. So look for the sandpit clue in the treasure room. Which, we would go this way. Maxin, uh, well, Kafka's Maxin has all her traces. Black Swan as well. Am I doing the thing again? No, I think we're okay this time. Huh. There we are. And there we are again. And... Thanks. Let's do this part. Perfect. The nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. <laughs> the two return to the lobby. on it. Back to Adventuring's POV. Uh, here we are. 
Insert Gulliver's R. Arch. Into the slot. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. Like Lego? <laughs> I've never played with them before. Can't say it because copyright. I wonder uh... if it's more interesting than stacking chips. <laughs> Cute. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Okay, so let's interact with it now. Enter the city sand pit. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rachel's just looking at uh, Oh, good heavens. D did I drink? <laughs> Am I still in a dream? Nah. Chat Indeed. called him baby boy. Now he really is baby boy now. Oh, doctor, you're huge. It's me. <laughs> down here. In the, the same Oh my pit. god. He really is baby boy now. Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way That's to so slip funny. me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Ratio looks so funny, like, just like, huge. <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. A dreamy town oak paradise. <laughs> oh. oh! So this is like a sneak peek of how he does his... Wait, I want to see what he does for his E. Feeling lucky. Interesting, interesting. Alright. What? No, 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 it, that's not what I meant, y'all. Chat, no, please, no, no. Alright, let's see where these pieces go again. Okay. Um. Why are you T posing? Are you okay? Wait, is that on purpose? Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Oh, God. Yeah, that was I on am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. We're doing the story Happy quest. Happy to be of service. The story quest for uh, 2.1. Uh, tell me about the guided tour. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <laughs> I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour. Of the base mall. I'm gonna give it a kick. Model, happy to be of service. Oh God. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> you could sample that actually. <laughs> My God, you can sample that. Oh, I'm gonna kick it again. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind <laughs> me. A capsule ma a sheen model. Model. Jesus. I feel like we can make a nice banger out of this. You can sample this. What? After screaming, the soldier collapses. He didn't even have time to earn a five-star rating from you. What's up with that? Now you the good? family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. Coconut's debut single, Stuttering Soldier, coming early this summer. Nothing. Oh my god. I'm gonna kick him again. No, I'm just kidding, no. Um, I want to see for here. Oh, capsule machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no mechanism on the floor. I forgot to use my stuff for the capsule. Could there be capsule one machine at the top? And, um... huh. Doctor, do me a favor. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. Oh, I love this song! The live stream! So, I so was funny. right. These models so have funny. interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that somebody puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. Insecure much? <laughs> oh my god. I guess yeah. You ate that one thing. I'm just kidding. Alright, let's go get the last fragment. Yeah, they're all T posing. Okay, that's funny. Yep! <laughs> Stream! Oh! 
It works. It works. I have like nothing on her yet, by the way. Nothing. I, I still haven't gotten her light cone yet and I just can't build her without it. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. Um. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I love Acheron. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Hmm. I was so nervous. I was like, these are considered normal enemies, right? Just like those, both of them. Because they were uh, together. How can y'all step past that? Oh, no, you can't. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Sorry. No, but it still kind of feels to try to become human, though. I don't know. <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Mm -hmm. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. He's probably sick. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine <laughs> must be hidden somewhere in the hall, like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> they are so funny. I love them. Hey. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Man, you know you like being around him. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh my god, yes, I'm happy. We switched to Ratio's POV. Ah, ah, oh, man, oh, ratio. Okay, more for this way. <laughs> Interesting, oh, oh, here, okay, cool. Um. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh no, I, I need Akron on the team, give me a second. I don't wanna fight all of you, it's gonna take forever. Okay, um, be right back, Just hold that thought. All right, we got her back. Um, I for the theater of the mediocre. I can't stand you, Rachel. You just use one of it. You know what? Whatever. For the it's theater fine. of the mediocre. Okay, I feel better now. Move. Stream four. Gleam of old. There we are. Ah. That's it. <laughs> Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. And it still took shorter than it would have if I had to fight them all individually. Or, you know, whatever. All right. Yes, it's so freaking helpful. It really is. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad it amplifies his voice. Of course, Sunday would be happy about that too. All right, place the model in the sand pit. Oh God, don't squish him. You know, he could he could just easily just. <laughs> Cute. Thanks, Doc. All right, let's start this baby up. I love these little things, I really do. All right, so let's. Let's see where it rotates. Well, here. But it wouldn't work like that. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Here we are. <laughs> I just think they're so cute to use and like play with. Oh, dang. Boo! But hello, hello! Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. I'm surprised he hasn't. If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. <laughs> <sighs> All done. Piece of cake. They're so fun together. Oh my god. That's so funny. All right, um, complete the dream jigsaw. Let's go back. Yeah. God, Ratio is so mean, bro. It's hilarious. 
It's actually comical just how rude he can be. So I, I like to get my chests after the quest, that's why. Because I will get so distracted. I'll get distracted if I look for all the chests while I'm doing the story quest. Trust me. I see them. I promise I will get them, but after. I don't know. I, I got problems. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Hmm, makes me feel sad. Okay. Hmm, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience <laughs> as a talking point at the poker table. Of course. Yeah, I like to finish the quest first and then look for all the chests. Because then I'll get super distracted if I... Because if I, I'll be like, oh, but I need that there too. Oh, but then let's get that. Oh, but then let's get that. I try to exercise some self-restraint. Sometimes I fail, though. But sometimes I succeed. Relatively. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. You're such a liar. Sunday You're happy he's back. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? You know you missed him. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Just... Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. Yep. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Going well, we're just doing story quest. Or fear. Huh. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. <laughs> that man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, mm -hmm. and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Unless he just doesn't care. On what basis <laughs> do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction. The IPC. Mm-hmm. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Mm. <laughs> um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. Not Robin. We need someone who can keep her in check. She's probably being used as a scapegoat. It's better to anything. minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. <laughs> Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. Oh, perhaps, yeah. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, so I'll win up. back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death if the chance of winning is just beyond this door even if that chance is close to zero well <laughs> you can't win if you don't play right of course you'd always use ah, logic the for this. charming God. audacity to think that <laughs> you of all people might emerge victorious dear gambler mm-hmm Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Okay. He thinks he's Yelan so much. You want to be Yelan so bad? I'm just kidding. I'm completely kidding. Um. Hey! Oh my God! It's uh, Sunday. As it Sunday. It seems my <laughs> puzzles are too effortless. No, for you. let me stop. IPC ambassador. You have to admit he looks. He low-key looks like, like as it's okay. So we're gonna we're meeting Sunday now. All right, we're meeting Sunday. This is crazy. I appreciate your words, and I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Mm -hmm. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. 
I imagine this yeah, knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. I'm so You're glad diligent, I love his hair, generous, oh and willing to cooperate. <laughs> the oh, fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, Robin's case. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. Oh. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Oh! There's no need for okay. us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. Mm. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Yeah. Who could be responsible for this? I took that too literally. Many the last suspect time the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Aventry, what if it was you? Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. Why does he look so smug? I'm on your side. He's like... I'm immensely honored by your concern like... for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe like, you would I'll be sobbing, bro. in return. Would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't uh. incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. He's got resting eye to the face. The bag of gift money and the box in which the cornerstone is stored. <laughs> That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Mm -hmm. Your tie should be on the center line. Ooh. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Ooh. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight. Okay, we're getting to... And always what? aligned with the tips of your shoes. Is he really that, like, specific? Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. <laughs> you should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Oh god, yeah, well that was a fail. Sure. Ugh. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. Hm. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. Mm-hmm. Tell you what? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Huh. Why are you smiling? What? What is... Oh, triple-faced soul. 
Please sear his tongue and palms with a Is hot he iron so that he will not be Yo! able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Is he truth potioning him? <gasps> <gasps> what have you done? Oh, okay. Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I oh implore God, them to shed him. their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Wait, are we really timed? Oh my God, and if I refuse to answer, mm. you can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Oh God. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Do you own a cornerstone? God, I love this so much. It's, it's... Yes. Oh! What a simple answer. You too understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Oh my God. Yes. I'm, Does I'm, the I'm cornerstone sorry. you handed over to the family belong to you? I'm glad somebody's getting a venturing. Honestly, get him Sunday. Yes. Ooh? Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing oh. but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Jesus, Sunday. Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Oh my god. Do you love your family more than yourself? Oh my god. We're getting deep now, for real? Do you? Yes. Ah, okay, all, all right. All the Avgins were killed in a fair, massacre. Fair enough. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? Are you? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? I feel like he's gonna say yes. Is he? <laughs> Oh. oh! I don't know. Oh! Oh, that's probably even worse because you don't even know now, what he's gonna do next. The final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? like we can get an answer. That Open was... it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. That was... Jeez. Sunday does not... He... Mm. He doesn't take any chances. I can't really blame him either. Considering who we're dealing with. Ratio does not Please. want any part. Bro! God. <gasps> Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> well, that was intense. Jesus. Oh, system hours ago. Dewlight Pavilion. What is going on? Since you came as promised, learned doctor. Does this mean oh! that you are willing to take the side of the wait, family wait, 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 in this wait, 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 farce? Wait, 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 wait. What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. Oh, I thought he was just kidding. I also that. understand that you're an avid learner. Now this is who tea right now. Oh my god. Knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. Huh. You must be quite aware that 
Besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Do you see this? Adventuring place checkers! Sunday place chess! Oh my god! Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. God, it's so bitter. <sighs> the cornerstone, it's which like Mr. Eventually right surrendered, was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. Oh my god. An addict. But... I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's... Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Mm. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, mm. not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Oh, one of the Ten Stone Hearts. Okay, okay. So, do you wish to confront him? <sighs> not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location huh. of this cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. <laughs> because he never intended to hide it. Right, like Topaz lore, right? That Didn't cornerstone has been this. in your hands from the very beginning. Huh. Sunday. Oh, that's pretty. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, hmm. is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, mm -hmm. one he's all too familiar with, betting mm -hmm. on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. I guess he really the doesn't like adventuring will after all. <laughs> reward a righteous person like you. This is um. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Well, how are you feeling it was now, all Thanks to your well, friend with no a keen eye, actually. that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Oh, yeah, wretch. they're they're playing each. Yup, they're playing each other. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, finally wait a shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind Ratio you, plays chess, you literally. currently only have 17 system hours left to live. What? 
treasure your remaining time. What? And savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. Sunday, wait, are we really going this far? <laughs> You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. Well, what are you talking about? What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods. Oh my god. Transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. Oh. <laughs> Is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? Jesus. <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. Jeez. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of this doom. Is, that's genuinely so cold. Basically like a heaven or hell. <laughs> Oh, sounds uh, like I'm gonna end up the same either way. Yeah, essentially. Uh, I indeed dead, do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time yeah, this comes, is very much giving cult Compare vibes. your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. God. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Yeah, that's genuinely messed up. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. I thought adventuring was bad, but This I is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. Yeah, free. I will wait here for your good news. Oh, he's pissed. I'm actually feeling bad for this adventuring meeting now. This isn't Jesus. an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. What? Okay. What? By the way, whoa, whoa, whoa. before you go, I have a personal question. I don't know, it's just, everything's just, it's, it's... What is it now? Oh my god. You... You? Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? <gasps> Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Oh my Sister, God. don't be afraid. But that's the catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Oh, basically, it all started out of survival instinct, won? which makes sense considering what his happened exactly his early Tell life. Me. You know, I made a bet with them: mm -hmm. the two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. Well, how did the? Oh. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Kakabasha. Of course, of course, you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. 
Gyathra Triclops must be watching over you. Mm-hmm. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Oh, oh it's too much. <sighs> There'll be no next time. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but really you must remember what Jeez. mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Genuinely, that's... This is, this is genuinely... Mm -hmm. Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Oh... <sighs> okay. We'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. Did you cross your fingers behind your back or something? I don't know. But sister, <sighs> Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? God, that's, that's genuinely... It is genuinely a good question, too, right? How bad were their sins? Um, excuse me. Like, I just... I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't oh, show any matches. Oh, firefly. Oh my god! I was so wrapped in that that I wasn't even thinking. Oh my god. No, but think... Okay, a couple of things. It's very, I'm, Sunday is actually, you know, I loved Sunday in the beginning, but now he's actually freaking me out a little bit. He's freaking me out because he's really about to wipe the last person of an entire, like, clan. And then I'm actually starting to feel bad for adventuring, something I never thought I would feel. Um, but when you put it into perspective, especially seeing his childhood and especially remembering he's literally the last of his clan, it's like, oh, no, wait, actually, you know what? It's kind of making me feel a certain way about Ratio, too. But Ratio is... Remember, he's just straight-up logic. He doesn't appeal to emotion. So, it's... Hmm. But... Uh, it is very much giving, like, cult vibes. It's very much cult vibes. But let's see what's up with Firefly. Hmm. Just as I thought. I'd like to ask... What kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Yeah. Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. Mm -hmm. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Is it possible to access these records? I mean, it feels like our every move is being watched, right? So might as well. I apologize. The hotel does not have access. Uh, this information yep. is managed by the Bloodhound family. Oh. We can only gain access if there's a problem. 
Looks huh. like nothing can be found here. Yeah, a problem according to them, essentially. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Hmm. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. Woo! So I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, well. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. Yeah. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. Mm -hmm. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. Yeah, she should. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Yeah, like, how did Firefly do it? Well, the Garden of Recollection, or Stellaron Hunters. Are we seeing Kafka? The Memo Sorry. Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly, a fact proven to us by Black Swan. Mm -hmm. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary <laughs> means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Mm -hmm. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Mm -hmm. huh. Who are you guys? You good? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Oh! Ready to execute armed evacuation operations. Box! Wait! No, 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 my team's not good! Uh, armed evacuation? Oh. Boss! Are you drunk? <laughs> what do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, <laughs> report later. Understood. Bro, what? Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice! Oh, God. Hey, check it out! That place! <laughs> Drunk on the job! No! Nah. Drunk on the job for real! To no way! guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Yeah. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. Oh, drunk ass. <laughs> I'll request a beating for you lot. You've been told not to drink during work hours. Why does she have question marks as if we all don't know who she is? Take him back to the hotel room. Oh my god, Topaz. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Bro, now your boss catching you like that. Miss Topaz? Hi, Topaz. I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Yes, welcome back. And Tureen has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? <laughs> Taking calls always. <sighs> it's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Mm -hmm. family Report to me before call. taking any action. <sighs> yes, all right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. Mm -hmm. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Jesus. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. Mm -hmm. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some... Dirt on the family, 
are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The okay. IPC always treats its partners well. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Huh. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk to Topaz first. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? <laughs> I bet you're not used to it. It's strange, that's for sure. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But yeah, Aventurine's luck pretty. has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. <laughs> Is that good, huh? It works only when all parties' interests are aligned. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Alright. Interesting. I guess you can kind of understand a little better why Aventurine is very all or nothing. In a sense, he kind of has nothing. So, why not just give it 100%? Because to have nothing again... But I don't know. It, it's, it's sad when you think about it. Alright, Bloodhounds! We're What's carrying up? out our captain's orders. What do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Mm. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Yep. Remember me? We meet again. <laughs> uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? Yeah, okay. We're not afraid of you this time. <laughs> well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, <laughs> why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? I've got business with you. Wait, no. I've got business with your captain. Where is he? I need you to pull some records for me. It's for official business. <laughs> the last one. Uh, when's our lunch break? Mmm, hungry. <laughs> That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. May we access the hotel's dream pool entry <laughs> records? Oh, uh, well. Well? Hey, the security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. Oh my god. <laughs> what murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Bruh. Uh -oh. yeah, 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 that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Oh, great. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Uh, why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. Gallagher! Oh my god, we're gonna right? see him! Yes! Uh, okay. Alright, I'm happy about this. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick.
All right, I'm back. Let's get back at it, baby. All right, let's go to Dream's Edge. Let's find it. Mm, this way. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Probably. Constructing uh, Gallagher. Gallagher. Gallagher! Oh, where could he be? He's right there, girl. Hey! I right, let me stop. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The the gray-haired one. Um How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? Well, it, uh, uh, this ain't it, Chief. You've got the wrong gal. Wait, what is this? That's right! It's a me, Clucky! Oh my god, this is so unserious. I'm gonna say it like this. <sighs> you think you look alike? How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Hell yeah! Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, hey, you remember? Uh, you remember the girl? Oh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Uh. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? Bruh. There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no uh, one's allowed through. Of course. Everyone, oh, uh, please leave! Oh. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Oh, he's begging. We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. <laughs> the fact she said that in front of them, wait a minute. <laughs> another way. Uh, that's it. Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. Can you perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. The clocky magic? Uh, uh, just what I've been waiting for. But I can't abuse it for evil doings. Please. Oh, God. This is so bad. All right, reason clockwork. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The yeah, boss said that since it's a matter that. of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Uh, Everyone, please leave. <sighs> There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and this Bloodhound family member have met before, and you know he's very upright. But you're also aware that principles sometimes don't matter when a person is in a good mood. All right, let's make you happy. Happy! Ah, good mood. Okay, thank you. Let us in. <laughs> <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Whoa! It's this time already. What? <laughs> time to clock out. Oh. And no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> oh my god, get it. The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. Great. Uh, what? That's it. We're good. Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, kind of. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. <laughs> I was wondering what all the commotion was. Gallagher! Huh. Oh, it's you guys. It's so good to hear him. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? He's got like the 2010 Hello, pants. Hello, Mr. I Gallagher, can't. sir. 
Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. <laughs> Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. <laughs> I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. Yeah, uh, about that. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. That's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. We're sorry, too. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. Am I the only one who thinks Gallagher's fit is kind of like, it kind of looks Dominican? I don't know, like, I... I wait, I don't know, I don't know. Because as, I, I, as a Hispanic myself, I can see it. Like, I don't know. Okay, anyway, let me stop. The nameless involved with the family. I'm... <laughs> what an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Yeah. Yes, okay, somebody else sees it too. Uh, it's yes. nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mm. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. Okay, I just want to make sure for here. So, let me get that again. Um, hmm. The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. What's wrong with the family? Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? You want to discuss the case? Sure, come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Mm. At this moment, on the other side, Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Hey, back with Welton Akron. Other than the family of the Harmony, Two it's hard to imagine any events. other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family them sees fight. themselves be crazy. as a piece of the divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Yep. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penicone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. Hmm. But the human body has its limits, and so does the Divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a Galaxy Ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. <laughs> Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Mm. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread, so One process. piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, oh. and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. Oh, body I'm tissue. sure yeah. you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. 
She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. Oh? And then quickly lets go. In the blink of an eye. Oh, <laughs> well, take that a play, girl! Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Uh-huh. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Okay. All right. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. Regarding the moment of daybreak... The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams, and they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Regarding the Gilded Hour... Gilded Hour. Hmm. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Okay. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. Really? I've never met anyone who was willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned yeah, into Yeah, Pentacone's Wall vault. Street, essentially. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left... Why does this look like it's actually piercing I witnessed a well-dressed like Apeche person plummet from the sky, Ouch. while those around him continued on their way, unfazed. About the Blue Hour. I hear the Blue Hour is very romantic. Oh! Do you have any tales to share? Anything with Black Swan? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. Let me stop. There is a large boat I'm called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persist endlessly every night. Mm -hmm. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock waiting for her long-departed oh. lover to return, <laughs> waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. Mm. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. That's like many good. who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. <sighs> Finally, we retreated to the beach. That is pretty sad. I'm good, how are you? I'm just doing, I'm doing the 2.1 story quest. There's a lot that's been happening. Woo! All right, now, about the moment Desk. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism. Cute crowd. The moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Oh. <laughs> everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, mm -hmm. he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. 
That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. <laughs> that was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This is a lot to piece together. Okay. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Oh. <sighs> That's everything. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Hmm. Someone once said to me, Kanakoni wasn't like this a long time ago, yeah, nor should it be. be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Hopefully. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses And that being slumber, a red is... Mm, mm. Should we still seek to change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron... Now Wait. it's my turn to share a story with you. We're getting what lore? Let's go, let's there go. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. Uh -huh. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. Mm. They slumbered in a dream devoid of disaster and pain but you hear the song choice they put in this too? peacefully in the man's created utopia oh God. and it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual adam became unbreakable hey, and yet it's... you stand here right now mm -hmm. which also means that man failed yeah does sound like an because people must always move towards the future. Yeah, exactly. Even if human weaknesses in... make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Mm -hmm. And that man, he was never a failure. Aww. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring Icarus. towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Yeah. I know what you wish to confirm. God. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. Mm -hmm. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces it's on different worlds. It's piecing together. This is looking like a really, Witnessing their yeah. destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not... They did see in the live stream that they were putting similar, the worlds together, the Hoya worlds together. The story you just told. Huh. It overlaps with my past. Oh, God. Yes, it does. And within that abyssal dream. They said in the live stream they were bringing I ended this baby that together. Man's life alone. <sighs> I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. 
I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mm. Mr. Yang, before answering that question, <laughs> I wish to continue the previous topic. Uh, okay. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light oh, from yeah, above the heavens, oh. piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Jeez. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Basically, like, what's the point? Hey, we're back to Black Swan, and and Constance, we oh, it's it's insane though thinking about it, you know. Just um, like you can't be in a dream forever. No matter how crazy life gets, you you can't be in denial. You can't just like keep daydreaming, keep staying out of the situation forever. And it's like this is things are gonna crumble, and things that it's it's it's, it's a lot of it that that applies to real life as well. I. I Just things you have to accept, because if not, the cookie will crumble really bad. And we're seeing what's crumbling now, essentially. All right, Black Swan, are you gonna talk more to Constance, or is she just done? I can't believe she talked to Constance, man. Or Constance talked to her. Long time no see. Having fun on Panettone. Wait, who's this? Macaron. Wait, who is this? This voice. What? It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Oh, I don't care as much. I, Constance is my fave. Though I don't know no, exactly playing. what you Wait. are, what you are. Wait! I hear some twang! I hear some twang in here! Is that Boo Hill? My bullets will find oh. you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Pentatoni oh. and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Oh my god! Imposter? Oh. I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Oh my god. Who are you? Oh! Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of I'm Recollections so glad he the memo too. keeper. Oh my god, I'm so glad he has the accent. <laughs> it would've made sense if he didn't. Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. I'll leave a round for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. Damn. I don't know what no you're witnesses. talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. Oh my God. Yes. I have Twang something to bullets. ask yep, you. It's him. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. God. Go ahead. Not quite. It's like the whole horse of uh, HSR. Ask, how exactly did she become a galaxy ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> <laughs> what is her deal, right? Sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Um, well... <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak and warm it up. 
and I'll raise a glass to you. I feel like I feel like I shouldn't even be listening to this conversation. It's it's very um like I don't know. I, you know what I mean? Like I'm 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 intimidated for her, but I'm also feeling like I'm interrupting something. But I know that Black Swan obviously has her like eyes set, her sight set on someone else, and it ain't Boo Hill. But like I still Boo Hill. I don't know. I feel like I'm interrupting something. That lady's passed. Oh yeah, he's risking us up. Yes. <laughs> Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman, named Acheron, is an emanator who should not exist. Ooh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, betrayal! Yay! You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? Ratio, he's about to... <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. Ratio does not give a fuck. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Ratio, what? Yeah. Just not. tell me if you can't hold on any longer. Ratio. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what? An honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Jeez. Oh, you've got a lot of... Uh... How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied Give him some harmony? grace. He's gonna, like, die, dude. Oh, Damn. Conversation with you know he's dying, too. That there's a traitor in the family. Now, yeah, the tension? The it's crazy. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacony. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? Honestly, a veteran is better than me. I would have started whooping ass. Like, I... That's but true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash, even when I'm about to bite the dust. <laughs> you are indeed a gambler. An insane one, at that. <laughs> Maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Aww. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. Oh my god, okay. Well, I mean, what's this? Medical, medical advice? advice? WebMD. Hmm. Taking both sides. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. He really is on both sides right now. How <laughs> centrist of you. Oh! I'm asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. <sighs> God. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Okay. Monday night's in sight. A most exquisite scroll holding a doctor's prescription within. Dr. Ratio advises you to only unveil it in a moment of life or death. 
<laughs> on one of his lines. You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. To Icarus. Okay, let's go distribute gems. Oh my god, the vision. The vision right now is getting... Ooh, that's how you know he is dying. Hey, y'all. We're just currently doing a 2.1 story quest. All right. Hi. Would you like Would some Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Yeah. Here. Yeah, I got these gems for you. Wow, how fabulous. But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like don't, me? Don't don't worry about it. Don't question your blessings, well, please. You see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. Yep. And yeah. If you ever get the chance, please Feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> that sounds kind of conceited. As a singer, <laughs> sure thing. I mean, would I say oh, that? By no. the way, Only, do you like, joking happen me. to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet Boy, dream. The subject. <laughs> oh, you see. I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Uh-huh. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Mm. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Oh. Oh! Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. <laughs> Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shibe protect us? Uh, Shibe, that's like Unexplained okay. coma. Huh. <laughs> that's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. So it can't be. I mean. Alright, well, thank you, I guess. I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Oh, God. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, the world has truly lost its way. Here. I got these gems for you. Yep. Enjoy. You wait. I get it now. No, no. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some cameras set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds. No, no, right? no. This is not a YouTube prank, please. You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly oh. great show no, never no, no. comes easy. Oh, come on! Just take it, I'm dying! <laughs> great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Oh, huh? well. Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't God. think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Literally, I Death. literally, I just not even remotely innovative. This is not I helpful bought it from at all. Dr. Edward. What? He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment! The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. Oh my god, and then what? All you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Wait, 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 stop doing the gut. The sky okay. was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? What? Yeah, what else can you expect? Well, it sounds similar. Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even called this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? Oh my god. <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. It's happening but in the gut, buildings though. and lights. I don't think I, those have anything I mean, to do with death. 
Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Ugh. This is getting, okay. <laughs> getting more confusing. More or less confusing. I don't even know if it's getting more or less confusing. It's getting closer. Hey, Woolsey. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Well, yeah, speaking of help, um, help me please, I'm dying. <sighs> this song's so cute. The expression on this hunk of a man was complex, as if he were looking at a mud soaked sparrow, unable to fly and nearing its end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. Mm. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Yeah. Well, actually... Imagine working at these shifts. Like, you're sleeping and you're still working. My god, you don't have any free time. But I guess somebody's gotta help. But damn! Hanikone. Unless it's just night shift type deal. Have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? Mm -hmm. How could there be stowaways in Penacone? Oh, no. We've never had anything like that before. Imagine you oh, have to right. work this type of position, though. Well, like, you go to sleep work, and you're at work in your dreams. Well, I'll be pissed. What was I even thinking? I mean, I dream of work, too, but... Family would never yeah. share intel with the IPC. Of course. Okay. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Uh, darn it! Mm. <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. This is kind of feeling like Baldur's Gate with the um, what do they call it? The thing that that goes into your like, was into your eye or something? Feeling lucky. No, I I forgot was, the mind flayer, something like that. Okay, Bucky. A uh, sip of liquor, a blissful reprieve, to drown a thousand sorrows, let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Here, I got these gems for you. Great poem. You're okay. Oh? Take this as your reward. <laughs> yep. You? You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have soul glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much soul glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. Oh yeah, he's drunk for sure. He's but drunk. not before meeting the devil of soul glad. <laughs> my God. <laughs> the devil of soul glad. Can you elaborate? Who is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. <laughs> they say it loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. Mm. Adventuring reminds you of Scar from like Hula. <laughs> <sighs> Who's crazier actually? Adventure? No, I, I, Scar's crazier. Scar's crazier. I can't wait for Hula to come out. With the ring waves. Please okay. Ah! Uma! You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Well, you can stop your gambling because I have some gems for you. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince and... I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Ah, oh, another curious soul. 
I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. Hmm. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. <laughs> I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on That's stuff true. like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Yeah, that's Thank true. you for sharing. Okay. <sighs> oh god. All right, Aventurine, hold on, hold on. We got it, we got it. I feel bad for her, man. Hey. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Checking out something? Well, check out these gems that I got for- Alright, I'm gonna stop. A gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? I'm not Someone is off. actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know yeah, if you've something gives me gems. <laughs> <heard about laughs> Listen, I'm gonna take it. In the dreamscape? Question it later. Oh. You don't you question your, ba like your your banners, Jesus. Always don't question your blessings, danger, okay? Don't question dreams. your blessings. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Mm. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Okay. Always wanted me about danger even in dreams. The stream entry methods are different from us organics. Intellitron. Oh. Huh. That's mm. new. The devil of soul blood. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Mm -hmm. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Uh, the gems in my bag are running low. Oh, God. Well, let's okay. see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Hopefully. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Oh my God! It's Sparkle. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your is nose it? everywhere. Is it Sparkle? Just freaking masquerading as someone else. Is yep. the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, oh, Sparkle, you, masked fool! I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Probably. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Hmm. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Mm. It's funny because, like, remember earlier, Sunday was literally saying, like, you know, you're the one who basically... He was basically saying that, you know, you're the one who stumbled and, and you saw that murder, basically. Like, you saw the death. And it's like, the way that he said it to me kind of sounded like... He knew it was gonna happen, and Aventurine wasn't supposed to be there to see it, so like no witnesses. I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but um we're gonna We're gonna see more of it, so yeah. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's no, see I mean 
what did you mean by becoming one myself? Oh, oh, because you can't talk to your companions, well, right? It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Oh no. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because. Because, because... I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Uh. Oh. Not gonna Why say. else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. Of course. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? <laughs> he's still bargaining, man. Why should I help you? See, he's still like. Don't you want to see Panacone descend into oh my chaos? God. Till death. Well, Till death he's like this. I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Scheming. Back Any there, way he can. When you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Did you? Hey, look, it's hmm. the owl again. The owl kind of reminds me of Oz. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Adventuring does Let it for survival, kind of. There were two mutes. Sparkle does but it for. One is dead now. For shits and giggles, and I the guess. Other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Oh my god. So, huh! Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. She is unhinged. It's actually insane. She's. Right now, there are only two things this missing from my her. grasp. Damn! The meaning behind what else? the truth. You don't have other things you could do for and fun. The means like, to expose go on a walk. It. You know, drink, drink coffee. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Ugh. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Ugh. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, I, I saw this the other home. and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. Not this! I saw it during Black Swan's companion quest. If you're quest. really so <laughs> desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. He's getting backups from both Sparkle and Ratio. Okay, well, people got his back, kind of, sort oh, of. A deadly button, huh? Barely. Uh, <laughs> well, I uh -huh. guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to she's, know. She's just mischievous enough that she can just do it. She get <laughs> well, I'm afraid it. I'll have to decline your offer. Oh. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. Oh, yeah. By the way, her anyway. I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. I'll handle the rest myself. Interesting. I'll orchestrate he... a grand finale Sam? for the downfall I don't know, of the I, family. I, well... And at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, 
If that happens, I'll stay true to my word. God, I Just can't stand don't let Sparkle. Me down now, okay? I cannot stand her, bro. I can't. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. Hmm. Oh, oh. So, number 35. You're back. God. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Jesus, it's freaking cruel. <sighs> The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. Fucking disgusting, bro. Are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. The hell? It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. He really was <laughs> doing everything he's done for Testing survival. Testing out if Eventually, you're I mean... a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now, and uh, don't let your master down. <sighs> How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay? I'm for nervous. Me? I'm nervous for him for asking that question. Huh. You really uh, want to okay. know? Okay, I, th I thought I thought the hmm. guy was going to get like crazy. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. Hmm. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal. Did it work? Was it gonna work? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got some guts. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your Bro. master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Yeah, they put like a brand on his neck and so that's what it is. So what was on his neck was huh. a brand. What brings you here, Gallagher? Jeez. <sighs> Some friends from the old days. I don't know, I... Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? I feel... I, I gotta process that real quick. I... You know what? Damn. I... I want to give him a hug, too. I really do want to give him a hug because that no one deserves that bro like I know I, I've said some shit about like how annoying he could be but like nobody deserves that like yeah I'll, I'll joke like oh yeah friend the way he says it, I'm just like oh you know he could be like you can't trust him and all but you see what he's had to do for survival and you get it you start it, you, you understand it yeah Damn. Yeah, exactly. No one deserves that. Absolutely nobody. So I just. Damn. Also, fuck Sparkle. <laughs> fuck Sparkle. Sorry, I. Okay, anyway. 
Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, oh, yeah, fuck but that guy. we draw I'm the line at yeah. Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy How do you pronounce her name? <laughs> I like the halo and stuff. What well, would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Shioban? Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! Oh! She's cool indeed. <laughs> I think she is Serval. No, she's not. What? They're both really cool, though. Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Aw, Sir Volcrums. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Oh, vacation. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food uh, on my table. Getting up there in age, baby. I and love older men. The They're all under the counter. Since our guests yes. have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? There's been a couple, like like hsr women npcs that have this is the second one i've seen this quest so far that's had like a more masculine voice oh i'm digging it or like yeah or like a deeper voice like i'm digging it i'm digging it that's exactly what i had in mind <laughs> hey my friends do me a favor go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy yeah sure the discussion might take quite some time so I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Uh, boo! In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? What? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. Oh. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all mm -hmm. within reach right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Large. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing <laughs> ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, mm -hmm. master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get All from right. your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Cute! Sounds like a bartender event. If not now, then of course later, so. Did they talk about a bartender event during the live stream or what am I dreaming? I'm in Pentacone mode. <laughs> We're in Trailblazer POV, but really it's me, Kafka. Uh, collect ingredients for the drinks. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. What should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Seriously. Uh, okay. Let's give a bag of trash. I could give 50,000 credits, but I need that for Akron. Uh, building her, at least. Give a praise of high morals. Oh, no! Wait, I, I was just pressing that as an option. Oh, great. Uh, whoa! The words on the note are changing. I thought it was going to give me the option to press Happiness cancel. Never mind. Happiness belongs to the noble. Ugh. Does this mean we can take it? <laughs> Doing good deeds does pay off. I was just gonna Thank see. Thank you. Oh, whatever. I meant to give you the trash. Right, future. Interesting. One day we will have a real house with a cup of coffee in her hand. Your wife says. It will have a yard where we can grow flowers, a hall where we can dance. A transparent attic where we can gaze at the stars. And ideally, a small dog to cuddle and fall asleep with. That would truly be the truly blissful life. You smile in silence and propose a toast. The mar- wait, the march, sorry. The warm vapor swirls and ascends, gently caressing the ceiling before dissipating. A bright future only exists in dreams. Jeez. Ugh. Okay, what other ingredients do we have? What's the other options? Let's go around this way. See what we can, uh, ooh, what's this here? Uh, check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads, dream syrup, thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is, 
half an amber era ago. How long is that? Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. <sighs> Maybe it hasn't expired yet. But I thought we could drink anything in dreams anyway. Ugh, the syrup is turned oh. clumpy. Ew. I definitely don't want to drink this, even if it's not expired. <laughs> That's gross. You said that to customers? Did you find the bottle of syrup Ugh. by the morning? Don't worry. It's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now. Yep. Feel free to have some. Ugh. Perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. You're trying to sweet talk us into drinking some crap. Then we'll keep it for now. <laughs> so sorry. Well, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. It looks really cute, though. A non addictive tranquilizer. This syrup is, in fact, a non addictive tranquilizer. Whatever. Okay. Stay out of my way. I'm looking Ooh. for Siobhan. Uh huh. Oh? What's all the commotion hey! about? That was the other person I was talking about with the like deeper voice. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ken. So the length of one Amber Era is gonna, like anywhere between 76 to 240 Trailblaze years. Oh my god. <sighs> That's... <And it's... sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagate? Woo! The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here oh. and not go anywhere else. Oh my god, that's so awkward. She does Give look me cool, a sparkling right? sparkling oh. drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Mm. Just one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? <laughs> Just what I've been waiting for. Wait, how come even you, Himiko? What? Girl? Yeah, I'm counting on you. All right, let's do it. Hey, how are you doing, Amiki? Okay, so you're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Yeah. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Well, well, I mean, I'm a customer, right? right? Shevan just said, anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Huh. Okay, let's try reading her thoughts then. Let's do... I just want to see angry just to just to mess with her. I'm scared, bro. I think it's gonna get worse. I'm scared. Those darn Iris jerks! They're ah! the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Oh my god. <sighs> Ah, huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master. Oh God! Oh God! The no! 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 Committed by the Iris family. Siobhan oh, will Siobhan. definitely appreciate it. 
Okay, uh, well, that didn't work. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. All right, let's try happy. I don't know if that'll work either. I think calm might be the one, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage. The crowd Amiki, is right? going is how you wild. Pronounce it? I know there's Siobhan. Applause crashing no, like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweeter than honey. I'm doing the, I'm finishing the whole I've quest seen tonight. That scene countless times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world, no matter what it takes. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think that's. Yep, I knew Want it was to gonna raise be calm. a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far fetched. Dream. Pass the Yuri. Amiki poured Pika White grape soda into your tall glasses. The rooms gently click, clip, clink. She's still not nice. leaving. Nice. Uh, Maybe I'll have to try again. Pika. Ah! Choo! <laughs> Cute. Okay. I All right. just don't get why she won't. The only emotion now is calm. Oh no, sad. I lied. Wait. Whatever. It's ridiculous, right? Oh. Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead, but all I want for her to reclaim her place. See, no wonder we got a reminder of Serval with Siobhan. You feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, that emotion turns into liquid filling well, your goblet. Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Oh, sorry. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe... I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, oh, I'm okay. pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. I mean, I feel for her. Amaki has left? <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Hmm. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Of course he is. Okay, all right, cool. Oh my God, eternal endurance. That looks so painful. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, Gallagher! All right, that I want to see how he does. Said, mixing go, a drink go, is way go. simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. Okay. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me oh, any me. ingredients you prefer. Sure. Well, I've gathered everything I need. Nice work. Let me take a look. You Spired found some ass. interesting ingredients mm. there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. Hmm. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Okay, so our first and last taste. 
Oh, we didn't get classic soul glad, man. Oh man, you know what? I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Where's that third one? I guess I was going too fast and I, interesting. Unless I just don't see it as an option now. <laughs> Do you have the classic soul glad? You probably don't. Oh my, Mr. Soda's, whoa, whoa. Mr. Soda's liquor sure goes down swell. Why are you drinking it? Oh my God, I'm calling PETA. I'm just kidding. PETA sucks. Um, what? You know what? I, I don't, I guess it isn't Pentacony after all. It's fair game. I don't see classic soul glad. Am I just passing it each time? That's funny. Whatever. You know what, that Gallagher? Being it's fine. Said, mixing. So go ahead. Nice work. Let me take. You found okay. some interesting oh, ingredients. Stage. Each drink oh. has its own. Let me go back. Stage, huh? Oh, it's here. Oh, thank you. All right. Investigate. Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. I miss that. <gasps> a few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. I can only imagine how intense that scene must have been. <laughs> but so, enemies drop gold coins even in a dream? Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, yeah, right? Seriously. You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Huh. Hey. Oh, recipe high stakes. Interesting. Well, I wonder if there's anything else around the area. Oh, Himiko, what's up? There's out there too. I'm so glad. But I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. Huh. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. Nice, it's still busy and has a long shelf life. <laughs> maybe someone else brought it here. Or maybe it's placed here for decoration. Uh, don't, it's no good for our drink if it's all shaken up. <laughs> That's possible. You see Soul Glad everywhere these days. So it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? Hmm. It's all about the bartender's pride. Oh it wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. <laughs> That's the mindset I, so. I use when I brew my coffee. Oh, it's fair. fair. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. <laughs> I guess, that, yeah, fair enough. Himeko! Hey! Okay. All right, now we can do it. Let's go. That being said, so go ahead. Nice okay, work. Cool. You so, found some what interesting if I actually ingredients bring this up there. To him? Each drink has its own. What if I, uh. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna like me for this. Sweeter than Susie juice oh. and more bitter than dream syrup. Dream in a bottle. That's a metaphor for Pentacone itself. Mm -hmm. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. I thought he was gonna like it. should give an well. unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. Mm -hmm. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Let's do, um. Hmm. Bright Future sounds kind of cool, but maybe High Stakes is better. This is the most pungent adjunct we have. Yeah. And my personal favorite. Oh, it is? Ooh, we're connected. Before Mikhail left, Let me stop. the wrinkles at the corners of his eyes had deepened like knife cuts. He mumbled, his breath too weak to climb up his throat, caught up in his chest. But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penacone itself on that night. Mikhail. Okay. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Um, let's do... Coin-shaped lemon slices sounds good. 
The IPC's favorite. Right? It went from hmm. drinks to just ambitious sour aren't you? topics. I hmm. Well, it's done. Yeah, Gallagher does sound like he needs sleep. <laughs> no, 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 he looks Here's like it. Here's to you, looks like seeker it. of truth. With this glass, farewell. It looks really my nice. Lovely. Did everybody get the same drink? Look at my. Ooh. To unfinished business. I like how mine looks. <laughs> Ow. Well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> <laughs> So, are you satisfied? Oh, the I liked it. See, I always end up doing They're pink. Way pink more it, sophisticated it, something always than ends up looking pink and purple. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the I adjuncts. Can get different drinks. I can taste the hmm. spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. I always end up making something like so fruity. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound it. answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. Mm. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Yeah. Mikhail, I heard this name in my dream. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. <laughs> Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course... I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Yeah, please. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. <laughs> but here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. Oh, they are? Okay. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the Hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news, and the trickiest kind at that. She simply yeah. vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Penacony at all. The hell? Huh? Does that mean... That death eradicated her? Maybe things will turn out different than what we think? Is she a ghost? Is she a ghost? Uh. That's impossible. The mm. problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. So is she a ghost? Let me Wait, be frank. Wait, now I'm actually... This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Mm. Dealt with before? So... Death does happen in Penacony, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. <laughs> Even the shiniest city has this. This is a team of all people. <laughs> Sorry. We're all adults here. You... Surely yeah, I don't need to explain Sorry. too much to you. Confronting the family the based on all that alone wild. would be naive. But, yeah. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Oh. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Huh. <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? <laughs> it's quite poetic. <laughs> no. But I'm the officer in charge of this case. I love like the oh, paw and his know? alcohol. I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. 
You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. Mm -hmm. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Panacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time. But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Now that I think of it. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. Oh. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. But what does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean... Mikhail, okay. the betrayer of the family, oh. he's the watchmaker. Oh! Oh! Sometime later. All right, who's POV now? Who's POV? Here we are. Hey! Fox Studios Theme right. Park, the most popular entertainment center in Pentacone. Oh my god, Disney. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to... Maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? <laughs> the culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Oh. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here. Oh, God. Helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. That's crazy how the it all changed up to exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. Mm. He is Hanu. Oh, Hanu! The great leader hey, of dreams. Hey, Hanu! The great peacemaker and the faithful companion of the underdogs. So, the character Hanu is based on a real life person? So that clocky cartoon is actually a documentary? Huh. History is always written by the winners. Yeah. However, course. it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Hmm. Okay. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly oh. from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? <laughs> um, about that. I wonder if there's been an... <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? It's pretty impressive, even from out here. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. Uh, oh, yeah. We can just talk here. Let's <laughs> find a point. quiet spot and continue our conversation. Mm. View here is great, right? We can see everything from here. Including Clocky. If all the characters yeah, in the Gallagher's animation yeah. okay, are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. There's nothing there. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war? 
and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history oh. fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? <laughs> um, how old are I'm you? I'm 13. You're what? No, you're not. I literally just talked with this man's, yeah, oh my God. No. I think, okay, all right. Okay, he's 13 in dog years. That's what he's gonna say. I'm sure this is, all right, he's 13 in dog years. That's, I think that's exactly what he meant. Yeah, in dog years, you know? Ex yeah. In, yeah, yeah, dog years. No way, not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between I'm major done. prison districts, I'm the done. future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached oh. the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Oh, in dog years, that would be two. Oh. In reverse dog years, in cat years. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. Okay, wait. So... Free the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Azdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. Oh my god. Didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... Yeah, what? No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. What? But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to... Mikhail. Oh. What did you do? What the hell did you do? <sighs> I did nothing, and that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone, but the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore, so we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Oh my god. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up, like a lost dog. That's the family so accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness, but it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. Mm. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not Seriously? the end of the story, right? It can't be. Hmm. 
Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker, and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Who could that person be? Is the Watchmaker an organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. Damn. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. Hmm. If only for the last time. Oh. For those who despise yeah. me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. But I've told you there. all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. Yeah. In this game, who While does Firefly's yeah. whereabouts remain no, a mystery, no. his it stories him, shed yeah. light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, mm -hmm. his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that... <sighs> the family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Hmm. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. And that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Oh, Marge, no! Not towards Clocky, but towards a lot of fictional men, I feel. And women. Anyway, whatever. Speaking of which, that Clocky you replace who that only sense with a lot of other to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. That pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Yeah, he's still talking to Acheron or what? Two most powerful beings in the game. All right, well, what you up to? We agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. Headed to Dulight Pavilion. I've confirmed that she's on her side. I'll keep it posted. Okay, all right, bet, bet. Hmm. Are your companions worried about you? They probably are. Well, they're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Yeah, seriously. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Oh god, Sunday! How's this gonna work? Oh lord. Okay, oh, we're in Akron's POV! Nice! Uh, yeah, because my Akron's not really built right now. I, I got her, but I still need that light cone. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Yeah, seriously. Actually. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Acheron jaws her blade slightly, 
Within a moment, her breath became imperceptible. <sighs> White. I've made myself less noticeable. Oh. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Hmm. I see. What an interesting technique. Oh man, during exploration, using Akron's- Oh, psh! Psh! We're fine, we got it. Hey. Do they see me? Maybe they don't see me. I'm not gonna waste it if they don't see me. Sorry. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the heads and the footprints no, here no, 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 are no. different from the rest. Oh, there are two skips. sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Okay. Let's see. I guess... Well, they don't see me. Unless they do. Oops. We got it. We're fine. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Huh. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, my team's not the best right now. Oh, this well, is where it ends. You know what? This team's actually fine. Destined for oblivion. Wait, wait, wait. I weep for the departed. God, that bass boost is so good. Oh! Oh! oh. Dust springs. The two shall fall. Yum. Good oh, how good. Never last. All right. Let's Time go. to say bye. It's definitely a vibe team, that's for sure. But hey, we're vibing nicely. Low risk, high reward. Go nappy. The market is on fire. Right. Investing in victory means playing the bar game. Relax. Cute. Oh, I uh. Come on, man. Stand still. Oh, that's how I know her when her ult is ready. Okay. Oh, I almost had him. Whatever. Wait, you hit 200k with the Akron, the trial Akron? Okay, that's actually really cool. devils, I'll crush them all. Goodbye. Wow. It dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks Ugh. before Robin's death. Oh my God. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Yeah. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? Always, so yeah. you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. I'm so glad Weld's getting his, like, time, bro. Akron obviously hell yeah, but like, you know, you know how I feel about Weld, y'all! No one here, either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you, too. Okay. Alright, let's look for clues. Let's see for here. List of death's victims. Oh, Anseral, a male Halovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation? Mori, a male from Sianshu, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Note, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible? Imaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of Scorch Sand but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. Note, the culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advised. 
Weber, a male Pepeshi, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown mean that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Note, preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals, uncertain, may be taking orders from someone else. Shimei, a male Pepeshi, was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Note, your card. Interesting. Dekem, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to oppress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further inve- wait, no. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary. Note, most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Additional note, scratch that. After checking, only two cases were related to the ocean. Oh my god, there's so many! Kaixia, a female Foxian, was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in Golden Hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. Note, could it be the Sweet Dreams troupe? Does it have the ability to imitate and learn? Multiple culprits? There is likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Kambega, a male bloodhound, was attacked by an unknown meme before his shift change in the moment of serenity, resulting in his death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. Note. No notable details in this case. Need to ask the Bloodhound family to strengthen defenses in the prison and other facilities. Janet, a female human, disappeared while visiting the film history gallery at the museum in the Moment of Soul. See, at least one of this sounds familiar. I don't... Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just coming up with stuff. Excuse me. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen. Vanishing without a trace. The site has been cordoned off. Note, this is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. Further verification is required to determine if this is a false claim. Monk, a male Intellitron, was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high-grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. still see me? I want to make sure I'm not... Hold on. Sorry, I got nervous that stream came off. Woo! I was nervous for a second. Alright, back to it. What was... Okay. Note. Vision sensor? Noteworthy. Annette, a female Pepeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the Moment of Soul. She was caught by a meme into a mirror and disappeared, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Note. Mirror? Noteworthy. Current hypothesis is related to the site. Chloe, a female Intellitron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in Blue Hour. Oh, that sucks. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. Note. More attacks occurred in darker dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? There's so many! My god! Oh, Carissa, a female Helovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorch Sand, and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family has apprehended the fan. Note, abducted? Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a male human, took a nap before the end of his shift in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers. <laughs> Oh my god, that's something I've done before. In the past, in the past. And was abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. Oof. Emergency intervention was provided, and production at the factory has resumed as usual. Oh, of course. Note, taking a nap? Plus, consider discussing with the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Like, seriously. Especially, you see, I'm, t yep. They just replace you like nothing. Let me stop. Okay. 
Marlowe, a male human, disappeared after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the accident. Note, this is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. This list comprises over a hundred cases related to the memory zone meme, death. However, the author of the list, Steve, seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. Oh, it is random. For fun. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Is it Sunday doing all this? He's Wait. just surprised that it has resurfaced. Uh huh. Uh, well, interesting. All right, let's see over here. This light cone. Hey, cute light cone. Is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. Aww. According to Robin's interview. Despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Cute. I wonder how their relationship is now. Yeah, I wonder too. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. Yeah. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. What about here? Oh, hey, chess. Thank you. Anyway. Ah, okay, let me drink water. Okay, this is interesting. A letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrained from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Pinnacle, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacone is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter confusion, or the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Pentacone, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress, or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires your attention. During investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme, Death and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties from the other galaxies. Giant moa pudding tarts from Moreland's, wild strawberries from Akonyako, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. 
and almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Shiva be with us. Your sister, Robin. As soon as I and the, the rest four. of the crew arrived in Pentacone, One of the four. Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet Mom, us. Mom, Dad, sister, brother? I remember hearing something unusual I in know, her Robin voice. is such a sweetheart, my and God. Robin deserves the now best. It seems Justice I was for her, right. man. Robin doesn't deserve any of this BS. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning... If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. Yep. Absolutely. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Oh, God. All right, let's keep looking for clues. What else? Ooh, a letter from Alfalfa. Okay, to Sunday. I have been informed about Robin, and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Penacone. As Penacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment, and to be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. Oh my god! Is this, this is a threat? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and her sister. And I have never found any evidence linking him to that memory zone. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Penacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. Oh my God. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominicus's arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, factions involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. Hmm. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Odie. Interesting. Interesting. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Odie is I mean, happy with Sunday's recent died, performance. Though. His sister just died! They don't seem to care much I'll be about death. Too. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Yep, you, it's definitely somebody in the family. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, Imagine. and everybody has their own agenda. Yeah, poor Robin, man. Of course the most innocent person would be the one to die. Imagine if the Dream Master is Misha. Oh. That'd be funny. I'd be like, what the hell? All right, let's investigate. Ooh, list of suspects. Okay, all right, let's do it. Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all of the suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. 
The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully yours, Esme Jot. Attachment. A general staff of the Oak family, short gray hair, leading a laid-back lifestyle. Often caught slacking off at work. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffering from severe OCD, unable to work until his tie is tied and checked five times. Reshi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, long gray hair, a devoted fan of Clocky, exhibits a preference for the clock element in almost all aspects of life. Connor, a professional at Paperfold Academy, short red hair, rumored by students to be an enigmatic figure due to his unkempt appearance. Doriani, Doriani, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short gray hair, known among, known among students for bringing cigarettes to class instead of textbooks. Hururu, a researcher from the Nightingale family, long blonde hair, known for being obsessed with soda and having the research lab's trash can filled with empty drink cans. Benny, a dreamscape producer from the Nightingale family, curly brown hair, <laughs> frail and thin, oh, never mind, exhibiting an almost fanatical affection for dream construction. Maureen, a dream weaver from the Nightingale family, Short gray hair, standard stature for Papeshi adults, possesses a collector's fetish. Particularly fond of mugs and jugs. Why do they have to use fetish as a word? Anyway, Sir Whitaker, the head of the Nightingale family, short black hair and distinguished by his rare orange pupils. Pat, a renowned actor from the Iris family, short gray hair featured in numerous classic films and TV shows, known for his distinctive thigh band. Orange. An actor from the Iris family. Short black hair, frequently cast in gangster-themed films, widely acclaimed for his performances in close-quarters combat scenes. Nader, a drinksmith from the Iris family. Short blonde hair, enjoying a good reputation among tourists for his engaging conversations. Carrie, an actress from the Iris family. Long pale hair, known for cross-dressing in films to play a suit male protagonists. Oh, hell yeah! Affectionately called by her fans as the Grey Beauty. Brendan, a guard from the Bloodhound family, short brown hair, awarded a medallion for rescuing 10 stranded tourists in an incident caused by a meme. But he's a suspect? <laughs> Carter, a security officer from the Bloodhound family, short blonde hair, small stature, often spending his leisure time in casinos in the moment of stars. Woolsey, the captain of Bloodhound Guardians, short blonde hair, a stocky man wearing s oh, bearing several scars from previous encounters with memes. Olomu, a detective from the Bloodhound family, short black hair, known for his unkempt stubble, mm, and excellent undercover work and investigations within underground gangs. Karina, an agent from the Bloodhound family, Long gray hair, nicknamed Fireball by underground gangs due to her tendency to wear all red attire while enforcing the law. That's funny, actually. Melanie, a reporter from the Alfalfa family. Short blonde hair, standard Papeshi stature, exhibiting a mental age beyond her actual years. Gabe, a gambling agent from the Alfalfa family. Short black hair, a standard Papeshi stature, used to enjoy candy before a gable starts. Lothric, a hotel buffer from the Alfalfa family. Dark curly hair, stall stature, possessing a sense of humor that attracts numerous VIP customers. Lester, an action, oh, an auction trader from the Alfalfa family. Gray curly hair, medium stature, regularly indulging in a dream joy special after work. And Nagi, a project manager from the Alfalfa family. Long blonde hair, shorter than average Pabeshi maintains a calm demeanor that has generated a lot of revenue for the family. There are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Oh my god. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on oh, his yeah, suspects. Oh yeah, about his sister, dude. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Yeah. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. 
What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? I mean, they have to be. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. They have to be. Yeah, hell yeah. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Me neither. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Wait. Oh my god, is it Sunday? Hold on. I don't think trespassing what? on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Oh Yang. Oh god. And... No, no, no. Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Sunday's so smart. Our like, apologies, Mr. Sunday. Like the, like Nobody the, came oh. to greet us, so we the entered the without permission. I hope you can forgive us. Oh god. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Uh, Even without so the awkward. famous Galaxy Ranger. Yo, as far as I know, up? the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Mm. Mm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, hey. he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. He hasn't? Oh. While the truth remains a I mystery, yes, Sunday I'm getting close evil. to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Yeah, I hope so. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? Out. With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Mm -hmm. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Yeah. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Oh. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. Yeah. But right now, he does is he's out there but handing remember, out his wealth on the streets. Him. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme Whoa! he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated you... to keeping our guests safe, huh? it might be wise for you to stay alert. Are you setting things up? You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Everybody's just like setting each other up, plotting against each other. Jesus. What is going on? Damn, you would think with all the people like that you According can't trust around here, you would think you'd see Sampo here too. There was a major but Sampo, uh, you know what? Maybe Sampo's Aventurine not the worst case. person after all. Maybe, the maybe, Sampo, has been arrested. maybe Sampo's not that bad. He might not be so bad. Compared to everybody else, which is a very low bar, but... I, I, I don't this think he would go this far. Has been linked to many departments within Unless I the Inter forgot. Astral Peace Corporation Whatever. and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower There's and resources. Resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. Uh. The case's main suspect yeah, originates cool from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Hello? What pretty eyes. What is. What? Tell me. Hey, Jude. Do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. <laughs> you don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. Oh my god. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, 
You went and killed that man anyway. Free him till it's backwards. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Oh my god. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. Hey, Kakabasha did what he had to do. You're pretty what he had confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. I wonder what happened with you his sister, dude. You wanted the perfect dude. construction material. Because they never went over... All I did was offer a possibility. I didn't see what happened with his sister. It was just a small wager. The last thing I saw if your luck holds out, the IPC will dig necklace. something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. She's gone. Uh, I Maybe guess... even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Mm. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, mm. including the perpetrator himself. Because they, they have been saying how adventuring is the last Madam, of this plan, I already have what I want. Which means to be brought before you for the next be dead. highest stakes gamble. Unless he just lost her and doesn't know where she's at. Just then let's talk about dead. the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. Oh. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. Are you sure? What do you want, then? Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to do that? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 Tonbas. The remainder of my... Market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. I hate still seeing him like. With this up. money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Like that, like just... grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance, which is why you should call him here. <sighs> Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. Bruh. And I will decide on his behalf. Jade! Dude, what the hell? You're wrong. 30 Tonbus. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Oh, oh. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. Oh. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Oh my god. And that's how he became a venturing, I imagine. Life is like a long term investment. Conviction is like worth the value, yeah, absolutely. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Still, even even with that, it's still scary. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? It could be, honestly. Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? 
Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? I'm scared for him, man. I'm scared for Never him. Never to return. It's sparkle, not me always like scapegoating. Am I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? Oh my god. Perhaps both. Ugh. No. The animation here too is like it's, it is chirpy, already. kind of like it's. When you were strapped to that electric chair. Oh my god. Oh, he's been through it. Who was it that gave you the idea? <sighs> Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. <laughs> I'm you. And perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still Why want to say like that? Jeez. fools with you through death's door. Uh, That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> A grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I, I guess that's true. You. Before you're entirely gone, chill. I'll be with you for no the hope. Last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? See, this is weirding me out, bro. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. What? Kakavasha, I am your future. Like, ah. Uh like First, basically I'm rebirth? hearing things. Like being reborn? And now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Even the way that the quest is looking right now, head to the control seat to oh. park. Oh my Why god. Why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? This is so weird, dude. Okay. I will be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom really quick. Give me just a second. See you on a little bit.
right, I'm back. I, um... <sighs> it's like, it's good to take breaks with this quest. It's a very long one, you know? Not complaining. <laughs> this is, it's, it's freaking crazy good. But yeah, just making sure, you know, gotta keep breaks in just to be able to bathroom, water, yeah. Anyway, back to it. Okay. You see, it? it's getting, it's getting weirder though. Just a papeshi? Huh. No. A child. A child? An actual child? Not just a papeshi? Yeah, Akron's voice actor. Yes, Allegra Clark also voices Beto. Oh, Shamir. I didn't know, I didn't know about Shamir. I haven't played Fire Emblem, that's why. I need to. I've been hearing good things about it. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? Uh, wait, is it supposed to be him as a child? What's wrong, mister? Oh? You don't look well. Oh my god, it's him! <laughs> Your... eyes... Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungla. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. So uh, Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Honestly, the way the child's staring is like scary with those bright are... eyes. Just like, it calms down as he grew up. Where are your parents? Dude, it's you. It's you. They're in that amusement park. Right? Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Is his life flashing before his eyes? Those eyes? Not me just realizing that now. <laughs> and Mama Thung... No, no, it... It can't... Oh, no, kid. No, 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 no. There aren't any Avgens left. Oh, poor baby, no. Oh, man. No, 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 no! <laughs> he just disappeared into the wall? Only on Panacone, am I right? Ugh. <sighs> what are you still doing here? Oh. Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely thing. Jeez. Is he just seeing from his past and future? Is this, um, um, who has blessed him? Step into the hotel, I, huh, but just in the form of him? Hat. Beg everyone you come across for help. <sighs> like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. Hey! The conspiracies, calculations. <laughs> especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> uh, don't remind me, please. Oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. Hey! Just like you me for real! So much, and you're still so afraid of losing. 
They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. The like facade that he has is no one actually in insane. An it's meticulously you me. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself too. Yep. It's like not even knowing who you are. Well, the best way are. to prevent others because from you were seeing the by having survived is first being able to fool yourself. He was stunted. He was stunted by <laughs> every by having to survive. Of course, I know you. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? <laughs> mm. Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. Uh. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Chill! <clears throat> is this Sunday actually as... Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Oh. Survival instinct. Let that baby kick in. Wait, where am I going? <gasps> After the agony is... Shouts and cries, prisons, palaces, reverberations. Prisons, palaces, prison places. I can't read. Ah, playing oh. hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Ah. <laughs> anyway, listen. I'm getting a kid. Don't do it. All right, activate this baby up. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cute. Should I bring Akron for this? Nope. You don't see me. Not at all. Let's bring my team set up. Um, I'm not sure what the faction part, what faction they're a part of. Oh, for for Akron, I have to check. Er, thinking about her information faction. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing Akron. I'm gonna, um, hold on. All yeah, or nothing. <laughs> Alright, she has nothing on her, by the way. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Hide and seek. What sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? Hmm. I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis playing dead. Oh my god! Drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Oh my Wasn't god! That the last one dad left behind? Oh, that's terrible. It wasn't Playing ruined. Dead and, and in blood. And... I've always kept it. Oh. Come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. They really... Now you don't oh my god, it's getting crazier here. You probably won't even deign to get Stern. your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. Mm. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek. And you get to be it. You should enjoy it. I don't want to say he became the monster, but it sucks seeing that he became not the best that child. Movie, I guess. <sighs> Could he be in here? 
He was... He who was once living is now dead. He who were once lived... are now dying. Is this... Oh, I... Oh. I can check how the mission looks in the journal, yeah. A, a topaz? Hey, it's a topaz! What is this doing here? Curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. Didn't tell you. Mm. <laughs> just to make you realize like, that you're pain. Like, just imagine how much Sunday set up. I don't know. Nothing but a death rattle. Poor adventuring, bro. Damn. The cornerstone's hue is the same. Yeah, what future makes fun of the past, of right? Body. <laughs> gotcha. I've got to give it to you. I've heard of. Baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Hmm. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. Mm. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. Yeah, look at him, he looks like you have to give him enough detail God. to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Mm. Which is why you had ratio seek out and leak the plan on purpose to prevent the other party from suspecting anything mm -hmm. the intel you gave to ratio was all true he spoke the okay. same to sunday finally sunday took the bait found the other cornerstone and before you know it yeah everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone Right out from under that. Yeah, like if you're not under my control, you're immediately suspicious. Mm. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? God. Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. <laughs> but who are you really, though? Because you got question marks on you, so it's I. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to. First, be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. My god! This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Avengerine is the oh, stone of luck, luck and, and trickery. trickery. That's oh! What the stone, wasn't it? So it is kind of in line with this type of stone isn't rare. But but in the more is very similar sinister ish sense, I guess, for adventuring the Navy. But in yeah, fact, that. it's often used as a substitute. And that Counterfeit. More hmm. precious gem is. Jade. Huh! Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for adventuring, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Aventurine, Topaz, Jade, three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic alley, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family.
As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. Yeah, that's typical of entry. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. I have to go to the side of the room. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. It looks so beautiful, man. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Stone before you left. What? Oh, he did? Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. What the hell's wrong with you? I, I, is it Sparkle talking to him or like Sunny talking to him? Who is it? Cause it can't be. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. Chill out. Damn. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoff's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even no, smashed to smithereens, mm. the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Sunday would confuse Jade's cornerstone for this. Now I'm really curious. Ah. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself? Always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. Hmm. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. Yes, you will. That Not me rooting for you, but I'm rooting for you. If you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. It's not... I... I don't know. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Another oh, illusion of the harmony. It's so weird. Huh? Huh? It's you again. Wait. Let me see how this looks like in the journal. Oh my god. You are completely entranced by the Afghan boy. Just who... Is he? There's still time. Maybe you can catch up to him and ask him exactly what... What he's doing here? Oh my god, it's really getting scary, man. Now I see what happens. All right. Because I see that it has it here, but I didn't see the... It has more of it when you press J. Oh god. All right. Hey. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. <laughs> Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. Oh, I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. A blimp? <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Aww. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. Oh, there are they a bunch more me, messages like that. Papa, Mama, <gasps> and really? Big Sis one together, to read. turning us oh into God. one big family. You should give it a try too, Mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Right, because of what it had, it the contents of. <laughs> I'm sure. So scary. Alright. Your wounds will never heal. Your wounds will never heal. 
Your wounds will never heal. Your wounds will never heal. Your wounds will never heal. Oh my god! Oh my god. Hey. Oh, oh, are we? Uh-oh. All right, click the flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents. Turbo Dash! Why are we- What the hell? We're going through all this sadness and then we just get into a mini game? Hello? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, um, it's... Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. What? <laughs> In the midst of mental breakdown! Mini game break! Alright. Uh... Best of luck to me. Ah! Wait, I did it so wrong. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, I did it too. Damn, I did it too. Okay. God. Ah! This is so funny. What? Oh, I... Mm. How close do you have to be for this? My gosh! Oh my god. Audience score, 2,000 out of 1,000. Oh, okay, cool. Well, good enough for me. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? Where'd you go? <sighs> oh. oh. Boring. Huh. You are... Oh no, it's this one. Oh my god, okay. Let's go back for here. Oh, but then how do we get... Interesting. I guess we'll find out how to get there. Oh my god, you didn't even see me. Woo! Hey. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. But then you're me, so then what the hell? You're me. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. It's well, Sparkle or Sunday. One of my traits that everybody likes. Oh! And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. It's freaking me out. Reach the pinball machine. I'm just- now I'm looking every time. Okay. Back to it. Let's go. Sandy Road. <sighs> hmm. My God. A dead end. Oh, is this the wrong way? Check the things. <gasps> oh my God! You cannot escape from the past. 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 Oh my god. Oh. It, is this? Oh. No, what's on your mind? 
It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. <laughs> I remember it all too well. This is like a light um, level of that one side quest in um, Final Fantasy. It was the one with Clive Rossfield. Was it Final Fantasy? Not me. I'm about to say the wrong one. Final Fantasy 16. Shut up. <gasps> whoa, whoa! I you wrap that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find, then in that maze you... Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Woo! Unwilling to admit that your life is worth the least. If anybody... Mm. If anybody remembers that one oh, side quest from Final Fantasy 16, that was insane. And this is like... This is reminding me of this. Oh my god! How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. Not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> you could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. Mm. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. God. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? Mm -hmm. What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. Life hasn't treated him fair, so the fact that he's at least wanted to be somewhat fair is... Hey! But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... Flowers? Your future never existed. Oh my god, your future never existed? Your future never existed. Oh my god. Jeez. Charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Because his mom gave it to him. Hello, you dweeb. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. One for him, one for her. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. Mm. It's a hard decision. It's between a rock and a hard place. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So, always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. 
words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told me to. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I guess it's like his insecurity is talking to him, essentially, so I guess it really I is him, perhaps. I finally get you. I don't... <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! It's his... All his insecurity is just talking to him like... In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin yeah. loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Well, not me. Adventure, really. A masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. Ooh, ooh. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. What's the word? Death. Oh. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. All or nothing. <laughs> All or nothing. All right then. Reserve a seat for me. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. Uh -huh. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Failure discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen, one mother, goddesses, beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure discard. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Loser, 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 loser. Loser, 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 loser. Poor guy, man. First, you know, feet deep in the sand. Oh, Jesus. Dead mountain mouth of Christ. Finally, made it out of this place. I'm so We're going home. Nervous for him. But I don't want to go back yet. Okay, oh, this one. Okay. We can do this. Um activate. But then rotate. That's not gonna go anywhere. Because then we need to go here. 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 Well, like. Yeah, that's that's fine. Story quest wise, and we'll come back to this later. Let's do it. Oh my god, I'm kind of glad to see you. I don't know why. There's only one place he can be going. Jesus. 
Boss Stone's minions will experience true calamity when Hanu gets his Hanu launcher. After taking aim at an enemy, hitting the fire button will unleash the Hanu rocket and consume ammunition. Yo! Okay. Whether it's in the past, present, or future. Shoo! <laughs> We're back. Oh god, I'm not here. Don't look at me. Nope, you don't see me. God, I'm scared. No, 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 no! Oh, I didn't think he was gonna see me in there. Ugh, they're merely, all right. Y'all didn't see that. Nope, not for me. Let's see if I can. Nope, you don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. I gotta be quick at it. Hanu, can you stop posing? Damn, I need to kill this guy before, you know. Where are you? Yes! Uh, all right, we got something. Good. If you use the Hanu rocket to ignite the fireworks, it will trigger an explosion that defeats enemies and can even destroy walls. We shouldn't do this one yet, right? No, not yet. Maybe we should, um... No, I, I don't... I'll get the chest after the quest is done. Because in the meantime... Oh, Jesus. Ah! Hello! You don't see me. Fire truck. Oh! Okay, you know what? I'll just get this chest. Why not? It's already here. Okay, let me get back to business. Back to business, baby. So what's important? Oh. Well, yeah, that's that makes sense. Let's just get back to normal for right now. What the hell was that? <laughs> Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. Um. <laughs> ah, it really is you. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling. Makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Oh, poor baby. Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Oh, you don't even know. Your home. Where is it? That's a good question. <laughs> what a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. Oh. <sighs> this amusement park. Things just seem this beautiful dream. At this point, I. I... They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? Ugh, not you again. Adventuring's really freaking been through it. <laughs> oh, are you dying? Admit it. You're tired. <sighs> I 
We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me. And him. Your past. And future. What? Past, present, How long future? will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. <sighs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. Is this a trick, though? I don't know if this is a trick. Always has been. Yeah, the child eventually is him in the past. You don't care who the real murderer is. LED eventually is him in the future. This is present eventually. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat. When he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains, and Remember, spotlit center stage. Didn't they say earlier the dreamscape is it's like doomed to collapse essentially? Or, or... You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. Wait, what the hell? This is spark. Is, is this sparkle? I can do it. You know what? No, I'm sorry. I keep I keep thinking it's Sparkle because I'm hearing about acts. Till the end, I'm wondering if it's Sparkle. Aventry? Aventry. Your luck will help you at the right time. Who? Stellaron and an emanator. I'm so. It's that simple. Bruh. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. Yeah, Sparkle screwed with all of our minds, for real. It's been... This isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death, and its curtains will fall on another death. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you suddenly Seriously. grow a conscience? Born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Whole internal People dialogue with yourself is. Right choices in their lifetime. Oh my god. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. Mm -hmm. You will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? <gasps> why must it be you? I if all why. your luck is built on the pain of someone you love. On the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Even his mom was saying it too, <laughs> just about how, like, cruel this world is. Well, maybe. 
Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. Aww. Yeah, say goodbye to the kiddo. It's best to die without regrets. Bro. Yes, his VA really <sighs> is killing this. Like, he really is. And now, only we are left. Just having this whole dialogue, internal dialogue with the past, <laughs> present, future. Can you take I a photo for me? Oh. I want a memento. <laughs> Sure. Sure. Come on. Oh, all right. Use the function button below to take a picture with the camera. Of course. Let's get the perfect picture. Let's try it like this. Hopefully this is good. Or here. Q. Yeah, VA is working overtime for real. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Why'd you go behind that then? I should. I would have just taken a full look like, at the picture. lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. <laughs> sure, I will. Then, Mister, are you going back too? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I can't leave yet. Oh. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. Oh, Kakabasha. Sure. It's nice so to hear an answer. Yes. No wonder Absolutely. your clothes are so stylish. Uh huh. Commemorative photo. A photograph exclusively yours. May your plans never suffer failure. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? <laughs> but you're not wearing black. Always another one that is beside me. Get on stage. Fear not. Never look back. It's not, it's not. <laughs> it's not blocked out anymore either. Oh my god. <laughs> Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is. Side, Much right? higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> of course you can. Aww. You'll be better and stronger than me. I used to really not like adventuring before this quest. Like, no, I feel I feel like a lot of people, I feel like I'm not the only one either. I definitely feel like I'm not the only one either. Oh my god, right? Yo, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, Teba Barista. How are you? How is your stream? Hope you're doing super well. Okay, just letting you know before I do anything, um, I am currently doing the 2.1 story quest for Honkai Star Rail. So if you like, if you are worried about spoilers, I totally understand. No worries if you need to lurk or anything like that. And of course, if you're just tired, no worries if you're stressed or, I'm sorry, if you need to, you know, if you need to decompress, no stress. Yeah, you were doing Story Quest 2? It's been insane. It's been absolutely insane. See? I'm seeing more people here that are saying that. Oh my god, you got her light cone too? Yo, nice! I'm trying to see if I get her light cone. We'll see. It's actually so long, but I've been tripping the entire time. I wanted to cry hearing what um, Aventurine just said. I, oh my god. But, um, 
It's funny because like I before this quest, I was an Acheron hater. I mean Acheron hater. Sorry, sorry, Jesus. No, not Acheron. Woo wee! Never in my life. I love my Nihility woman. Um, I was an adventuring hater. I did not really like adventuring. Uh, adventuring. Why am I saying adventuring? Bye. Yeah, I wasn't an adventuring fan either. I was like, what the hell is up with him? You know, he's so mean. Um, doesn't excuse the shit Sparkle sets him. But yeah, like, I just, woo! Um, but no, this, this quest has really been making me... You understand adventuring after this. You understand why he's done the, the stuff that he's done. And you see his, his changes too. I just... Props, props to all the adventuring fans from like day one. Props to y'all. Y'all knew it. I honestly still don't like him. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I guess because he's not like the most morally correct. Wouldn't have hesitated to punch him and not feel bad for him. Real, this POV mechanic really cooked it. Right? They really know how to get you. Listen, if they're doing this on purpose. They know that he's coming the second half so that we all end up spending our money to pull for him. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Let me stop. But um, thank you so much for the love. And of course, I am going to go back to story. I am recording, so I won't be able to respond to you guys so much after this. So let me just, um, I'm just going to get back to it. Let's go. But I love, I love the character development here. It's beautiful, man. All right. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Mwah. Thank you, Estadithi. And thank you, Teva Barista, for the follow as well. Thank you, lovely. How this changed people's feelings towards adventuring reminds me a lot of how people's feelings change towards Farina. That's exactly what happened to me with Farina. Same thing. It's crazy. Right? At those 360 turns of liking and hating characters, because they did it with Farina. Oh no, we're not stopping. We're gonna continue. But I'm gonna um get back to not being able to respond much because I'm gonna put this stuff on YouTube. And I don't wanna like talk much during the quest, besides like reacting to it. So yeah. Alright, let's go, y'all. Going back to it. Over plains endless. Into cracked earths tumbling. Hmm. All right. On stage, baby. Oh God, we're really doing this. Wait, on stage and it has a light. Are we seeing the light? Are we seeing the light? <laughs> oh my God, this is us seeing the light. God? Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple oh, ritual. Her. The Putting kids our palms for together him. and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she it's will Mama bless Funga. us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. That's so sweet. Thank you, baby. It's all right. I know how to do it. Of course I know. But when his mom did when he was a baby, no? This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this ring, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this ring, 
the Catechans would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. So we really are. We're going to see what happens to your sister. Fortune? Why are you all doing this? Poor baby. The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. What happened to the necklace? I wonder if she gave it to him. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Oh, the Gayathra reincarnation. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Doing just as his mother did. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. Welcome to Honkai. God. The insurgents Welcome are from to a known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's so marketing sad, development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. Jesus. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. It really is only him left. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? He's gone. It was really a figment of his <sighs> imagination, I guess. I, I, or, well... Bye. <laughs> Bye, baby. All right, let's go on stage. are in place. It's time for the show to begin. You got this. You this got act this. is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavasha. By the way, before you oh. go, I have a personal oh. question. Oh god, okay, is this flashback again? You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? Oh... <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Oh my god. Oh. 
Is this Miss Acheron? Hey, Hello. oh, Acheron I'm and, Himigan, and the Astral Express. The Astral Hello. Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm still thinking I'm about sure adventuring. she needs no introduction, as you oh. definitely know her. <laughs> hey, I still deserve a proper intro. <sighs> Pleasure to meet you, Miss Acheron. You can call me Clucky. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Uh... <laughs> Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Uh, don't worry about it. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. Yes. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Don't worry, you have Black Swan. Miss Acheron here doesn't present well, a danger, and she's a no more than threat friendship. to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? Huh. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. Himiko sounds so mad about what I Wolf suspect <laughs> he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and uh, Tianzhou. But we must meet our... met out... oh, sorry. But we must meet out justice for the dead. <sighs> Maybe we should now get out of here while we still can. I am the bone of my bat. Stellaron is my body and Trailblaze is my blood. Oh my god. Um, no, let's do it. She's right. No matter what, we cannot ignore the safety of Panacone. We gotta do it. Let's go. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's Trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Thanks! Are we Let's at the trial? Move out, then. But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. Was that a Fate series Blade Works reference? Oh, I'm not sure. The most wondrous. Magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. Oh, God, Aventurine! The IPC Court Studios theme park. Oh! Oh, my God, Disney passes. Let's go. <laughs> Look. No, Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Hmm. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Let's go! Alright, let's go for it. Sybil, what do you want? Oh! Alright, let's go. We're heading. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything because in the last story quest, I missed picking up the picture of me and Firefly, and I don't want to miss anything again. Alright, mm -hmm. no, I think we're good. Let's go. Oh, I this. have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. That's what we're here for! Uh, are I'm you scared. ready? I'm ready. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Let's go. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Oh. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. Yeah, something like that does deserve the entire explanation, and they don't have time but for that right now. I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I trust your judgment. I also well. believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Yeah, yeah, they would. 
Thank you. I'm grateful. You're welcome. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. If my meager strength is required. Ayo? Who's this? What? Aventrine seems to have waited for quite some time on the stage at the center of Clock Studios theme park. Join this crazed gambler for a perfect collaborative performance that will blow everyone in Patagonia away! Hello? Who's that? That's a... What? Okay, alright, 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 all right, um... It's... I... Uh, oh god, I'm scared. Woo-wee. Um... Let's do this. All right, let's do this, let's do this. I don't know whether it's better to bring Locha. Oh, my Locha's health is really bad right now. Oh. Okay, whether it's better to bring, let's think about it like this. So obviously Kafka, I don't know if it's better to bring like, you know, Huahua would be a good idea. There's a part of me that feels like bringing Huahua. There's like a part of me that feels like doing that. Black Swan, I, she's a little squishy right now. I am gonna bring a team that doesn't vibe that well. Um. Ugh. Kafka, I'm gonna need her, cause she's really good. Kuohua, Fushuan, we could use Black Swan, but we can also use Ronmei instead. I hope this helps. Mm. Should I bring Japard instead? My Japard is built, and I... Yeah, I have him built. Wait, but that's, like, too much. Th I feel like that's overkill. We got Hua Hua. Okay, maybe we should bring Locha. I know his health is low right now, but I think we'll be okay. Locha, Fu Xuan, and... The story's been amazing. Let's do this fight. I don't know if I should bring Ranmei or, or Japard. But, like, I feel like it'd be over... Nah, we need some type of freaking... Hmm... I'm gonna try this then. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this really quick. Huh. Let's let's bring Black Swan. She may be kind of squishy right now, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be good. Let's do it. We're going in, baby. We're going in. We're back here again. It's a good team. It's worked for me before. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Uh, Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Oh, girl, you don't know the half of it. Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown, too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Okay. Ooh, this music, okay. All right, wait. It's feeling pretty techno. Like, actual techno. God. All right. We're doing this. We're doing Astral this. Astral Express. You're late. And this. Unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. <sighs> it is customary to show yourself as well. Am I ready? Do I got this in the bag? I don't know. Oh, I will. Naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Um... Everyone, give it up for Miss Demeron! Oh! Uh, sure. Ugh. We're not here for any pageantry. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murderer? <laughs> Mommy, look, I'm on TV! No, 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 let me be serious. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Even in the midst of something oh, like this, they they're so did. unserious. Of course they do. 
Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Yes. Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist in Train's promise. Is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? That's what I was gonna say, three. That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here, in Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. Oh, Jesus. You, 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 and you. All of you can't even point are at us. going to die. Oh. And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. I don't know about being able to kill Akron, but I mean, you could try. It's, you I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know. The personification of death. <sighs> what do you want about? You sure you're gonna survive this? Maybe I'm not that powerful. <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panico. What? Bam! The entire oh my God, he's telling his inner Joker right now. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC police navigator. Oh my God! Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that. You would have done so earlier. You want a bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. Uh... You won't do it. Ooh. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind Everybody's wishing me good luck. Y'all scaring me. Is it really that luck. hard? Oh God. Uh, never thank you for the luck. <laughs> you I, he is fighting for his life. In a sense. Is the rehearsal of death. Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. I thought it was just because we're tired. <laughs> Okay, I'm Every scared. night I'm scared. is I'm scared. practice for I'm scared. death. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface. Thank you guys. Thank you. <sighs> Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or grounds to. Oh God! The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. Uh, I'm taking the gamble. Oh my God! I'm he's claiming the win. Oh, and fate's in the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death. Bro! For rebirth. Bro! Oh. What? For the Amber Lord! Oh, God. Okay, okay. All right. Woo! We raven now. Let's see who has the last laugh. Let the game begin! I'm at a rave, but I'm fighting for my life in the rave. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Right. Uh, let's 
sleep in here. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. I don't even know what he says. I just got here! I haven't even used Bushwan yet! Oh my god. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. Again, the ill tidings manifest. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss! <laughs> Let's defense. Converge and awaken. Stand still. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um. 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 Wait. Uh, that's not good. No! That's you like so to know The seal of ill fate descends. Allow me to make a divin with all my power. Try the future. Relax. May as well kill them all. <laughs> oh my god, leave! Leave her alone! Down from a Bruh. Life and death. All right. Everyone back again. Let's go now. We got this. Whoa, whoa, we got this. Don't sweat it. Ill fate is there. It's not flashing yet. We're doing okay. Good times. Never time to say bye. This song is so good. Boom. Right. Prepare for some. Oh. No! You just took my ult? Oh my god, you suck! I can't believe you took my ult. Boo! Oh. Oops. That's okay. We need to wake it. creations! No, she's so squishy. Memories are beneath the water lies an endless abyss. I'm scared. Oh, I should feel whatever, it's fine. Oh, phase two! Oh, phase two. Oh, phase two! As long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. The chance how small. The potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the gamble? <gasps> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Alright. Mm. Shoot! Oh god, not again. Really? I can't do it like this. Oh, I'm so screwed. Relax. Five? What do you want to know? Oh, ill tidings manifest. This is not. No, we're done. <laughs> We need it now. I don't care. Creations. Okay. Oh, they hit the dice. Ooh. All right, let's do it like this. Oh, I can't blast them. Damn. Okay. Um, damn, I can't do it. Relax. What do you want to know? Let's do it like this. How many can I hit? Just three. Ill fate is dead. 
Nice. Good. Nice. Oh God. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. All things in this human creations. Woo! Oh, we're fully healed. We'll be all right. <laughs> Stand still. We don't need the shield shot. again. Yeah. We're getting better. We're getting better. We'll be good. Three. Destiny Six. isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Oh, nice! I see through you. I only really hit one right now. Relax. <laughs> oh! Never back again. It's no! Oh my god, this is such- this is Memories insane to deal with though, it really is. The walkers lies an endless abyss. Oh. I'll crush them all! Good times. No time to say bye. This might be it. Let's see. Boom. Every case like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that free? What? Chemical? Chemical. 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 No, 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 no! Oh. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. Oh my god, he turned this into Elden Ring. <laughs> Casino Elden Ring. Emanator. Ooh. I know you'll Leaving? What? <laughs> Perhaps. Akron. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. Huh. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. Mm. I'm afraid a family Who is will not open to her doors eyes? for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Mm. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone, and they never need to. Mm. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk, and together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Yeah. God, it's been raining on a lot of these flashbacks at this point. They mostly become well, a part two. of the shadow. But very important ones. In your eyes. Am I the same? Uh. You still have a strand of color. But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely. I will reach the Nihility's end. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh! Ooh, wait! What? Oh my god, the song for this week. Uh... I wish to mourn the departed. Weeping like rain. Oh my god, her greys are out! Well, the crossing stream. 
She's crying blood. This is it. This is her. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Getting her Hawkeye for third on. Leading you back home. God, the power's insane. Oh, Venturi. Oh my god! Bro! Dead officially. What? what is this place? Oh my god. Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see. Is he in um what's the place between between life and death? Have I, uh limbo. Have I succeeded? It looks like he's in limbo. Oh my god. She replied, I want to die. Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Oh, no. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Jesus, this is... This is whole black hole to... Uh, oh, my God. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. I want to see what this says. Farewell, Kakavasha. Reunite with your family. <gasps> It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Seriously. Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. That was Boot Hill, yeah. It sounded like Boot Hill. The earlier. sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? That sucks, waking up to that this every day. This is all but a fleeting dream. Oh. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ajax. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. Oh, okay, so it's <laughs> It seems limbo. that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it. I can't promise you anything. Oh. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. 
the true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? <laughs> I see you're in the know. <laughs> Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder Gosh. isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacony, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. Mm. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. Yep. And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is remember unable to take Ratio the stage and, and speak the truth. Remember what Dr. Ratio gave him, remember what Dr. Ratio gave him, and what Sparkle, well, I'm happy I think, to know she's to safe him? and sound, I think and didn't still that one. on nope. Penacony. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... Conjectures, is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, mm -hmm. it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. <laughs> I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. I'm sorry? You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. So this is what he wanted the whole time? You can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. This is what he wanted. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Want to die for this stuff. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. Ugh. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. His greatest death. Even if you lose was the bet. his greatest death. Oh my god. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Oh. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. Damn! Adventuring place the chess, IPC's bro! The IPC's success is not He hangs not out ratio. Guaranteed. I mean, he probably taught him a thing or two. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Hmm. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Wake up oh from this God. dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. 
Ooh, the dream in red! <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? Mm. As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. That's a question we're all wondering. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Mm -hmm. Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. God. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different and red. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Yep. Good luck. Yup! God, her hair's so long and everything too. <sighs> what Dr. Ratio gave you. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Doctor's advice. Oh, Doctor Ratio, thank you. <laughs> I guess it would be like a coma, right? In a sense. And I shall well, get going. Let's see. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh, Mister. Oh, you're leaving. You ultimately chose to. Leave this dreamscape. Oh, baby. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakavisha. And to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am the child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. Yeah. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. Why the music get dark? Wait, no, you know not what? yet. Not yet. Maybe you can help. Oh, okay. Oh, are they gonna pray what together? Do you say? Like one last hey, time. Are they gonna pray and put their palms together? Put our Yay. palms together. Oh. Are you going now? 
Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. <gasps> With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber of tonight. Until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. In every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude, his fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests, one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. Aventurine stone has disappeared. Oh my god, they, he actually... This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> so he... As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill That's our true. duty. Jade's here. And oh my start god. Start harvesting. Oh. Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine, and I come to claim. What? I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Oh my god. Meanwhile, memories on depths. Oh my god. You try to open your eyes, but find only blackness before you. Where is this? What happened? And... Whose point of view is this? That's a good question. What happened? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade. And then... Crush. The indescribable force of severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly, your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. I think someone saved me. Oh my god! You're awake. Sam! I've Sam? been waiting on Sam? you for oh my quite God, Sam. a while. And you are? Just what's happening here? Wait. It's you. What have you done? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam. A Stellaron hunter. <laughs> I'm Sam. I love the way you said that. I originally so planned yes. on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. Oh my god. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Sam, I am. What Eleven is that? times I oh tried, god. but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too oh intertwined. Oh my god, you're so good. 
I follow him. It became him. too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. Sam is such In like a fun, a dreams, fun game, though, for like a badass. You and I will reap unforgettable gains. Huh? I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. Uh, oh. What? This is to show you. What? Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. This is such a good day, man. This is such a good day. I'm so glad we see her again. I'm so glad we see her again. Yes! Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't end like that for her. People were, like, conspiring this for a while, and I was like, okay, this is probably true. It's her. Yes! Okay. Oh, Gallagher. Mr. I'm 13. Okay, what's going on with, um, all right. What's going on with, with, um, Sunday? Yeah. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the raid, Kazuhiro. How are you? How is your stream? How is everything? I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful stream. Yo! Yo, yo, what is up? Mwah! I hope that you had an amazing stream. We're doing the Honkai Sorrel 2.1 story quest, so if you do not want to get spoiled, I understand. Or if you just if you just need to rest, decompress, don't stress. We, we've been chilling here. But yeah, all right. I am... Oh my god. Um... <laughs> We're about to get back in. It's the... Not the oh, Kitson! Oh, thank you so much! He's 13. It's, I can't... Well, like, when he said that in the quest, like, me... I'm 13. Slay! What? Slay! Oh my god. Yes. Okay. Um. Oh my god. It's crazy. I, he said that. We were all like, huh? I've been loving the story. We're about to finish it right now. Um. Slay! Woo! Slay! <laughs> all right, you guys. I'm going to get back into this now. So I can't really talk. Uh, but... Like, after this, we're gonna discuss this baby, I promise. Just because I'm recording this for... It's supposed to be a separate YouTube bot. I don't even know if we can do that. But yes. All right, we're gonna get back into it. Let's go. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. <laughs> I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Sunday, what's up? Just expressing a personal opinion. Oh. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Oh God. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. I don't... I really don't think it's Gallagher. <sighs> right? I hope not. Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Oh. Why are you giving him the serious look? You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs. Wait, and literally, you or? accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Oh, he's giving it to him. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? Oh. You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. <laughs> I can never get over his spy ass face, bro. Me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors he's of the mansion, to him about his sister's death. I will he's know like, what he wants. I miss my, my sister. Servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. 
Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Okay. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter! I'm happy to see how it's turned out! Huh! Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, what? the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, I just don't think it's why would you need to be so secretive? Please. Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Mm -hmm. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Brother. Looks like your disguise well. has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. He said brother, Open but your is eyes. he being literal? Take a good look. No, it's in bold! <gasps> He's part of the family. Right? Wait a damn minute! Isn't that right, my brother? Okay, I was gonna say, because I don't know if this is literal. Okay, but it was in bold. See, this is... Oh, what the... Alright. <sighs> Indeed. Oh, Every part of you is real. The brown hair, oh, okay, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. Mm. That odd scar. The Probably mark him of his, Wolsey. His bro or her brother, that's true. And the grey vest, Ty. Hound emblem, bottle, huh. the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Oh my... I'm, I'm like... Gallagher! Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? Gallagher, no! This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. This is something a 13-year-old would Listen do. Up. Wow! I don't it's care really how you did all, it. But... I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. Oh, God. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> Gallagher! You know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. <gasps> Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. kidding right they're just gonna stop it like that i didn't even see the like they yeah they really did do that they just showed us like splatter and then ta-da light code Woo! what the hell just happened what kind of oh my god that was literally evil well we got well and we got evil well oh my god well um 
Uh. Sunday, no! Bro, what? That was actually absolutely insane. No way. I don't understand this game either. I'm like literally so I, I 47. Damn. Like Bruh. the extinction of a clan. Just siblings being eradicated. Gallagher really being like evil well not literally but you know what I mean I'm hello there comrade you seem pretty dehydrated so I got a glass of water for your thirsty that's ass. true he could go see Robin Drink now up. that's so true but damn but not like that Jesus Christ I you mean know, um, I I'm sorry I yeah you know what you know what I was doing when I was 13 I was just goofing around in class in middle school I wasn't doing none of that okay I was not a bartender, and I certainly wasn't killing people. Um, not that you should kill people in any age, but anyway, with that being said, um, I am genuinely astonished by everything that just occurred in this quest. Um, I love how we ended the last story quest with Robin being shown as dead. Now we see her brother being shown as dead in the end of this story quest. Um, yeah, I'm just as shocked as you are. And... This is only getting more and more and more crazy and wild, and all the twists and turns are insane. Seriously, just seeing how much has gone on. Again, this was a long quest, but this is another long banger. I really just... Yeah, this... I'm sorry, I wish I could find more cohesive, coherent words. But the quest really does leave you messed up at the end. It really does. Um, wow, I don't, I don't even know what to say, but, um, let's see, ah, these messages, but with that being said, um, yeah, ooh, it's profile pictures in game, ooh, the profile pictures in game, what's up here, <gasps> oh, Kakabasha, Kakabasha, oh, this is so crazy, so, there's a lot of thoughts I'm having right now. Sam, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so happy. It was it was low key a little predictable, not because of of Star Rail itself. It's I don't know. Everybody was just conspiring for a while. There was like Sam, so I was like, okay, it probably is Sam, and boom, it was Sam. Sam, I am. It's really Firefly. I'm so happy about that. But I think Sam. I can't wait. I can't wait to see more of Sam. I'm so happy about that. I. This whole quest, there's so much to digest. Aventurine is literally the MVP of this quest. I went from hating this guy's guts, not excusing like spark the shit Sparkle said, but I went from hating this guy's guts to loving this man and seeing that like what he did was essentially for survival and seeing all the stuff that he has went through and the, the cards he was dealt. Um, and then just seeing how he got his own cards, uh, you know, in a metaphoric way and dealt them himself. Um, yeah, aventuring. <laughs> I I'm gonna get this man, I really am. And of course, they do this on purpose. They make you love the character, then their banner comes, and you spend money. But no, I, gen genuinely, I... I love aventuring now, man. Um, not 100%, you know, I still have my trust issues with him a little bit, but like, no, I understand why. It's, it's amazing. I love Sam. I love aventuring, I really do. And... Akron's crazy. Like, I freaking love her, too. Gallagher, why would you do this to me? Why would you betray me? Sunday. Was not having a fun day. Um, R.I.P. Robin. And then, what else? I mean, you know. Himiko's still alive. That's good news. Yeah, this is insane. There's so much. But I can't wait for more. And I know that it's gonna be so, so, so worth it when we get to see more of this because God, they're so, woohoo, Boo Hill. I can't wait for Boo Hill. But with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this quest as much as I did. There were twists and turns amok. They were everywhere. 
But of course, feel free to leave a comment down below to see how you felt about this quest. Let's talk about it. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. All right, see you next time. Bye, YouTube. All right, I'm still streaming a little bit just because I need to, I just want to check everything out. Um, I'm going to do a couple pulls too. There's some pulls I, I haven't uh, done yet. You know what I mean, chat? That was genuinely insane. Um, I'm, I'm shook it, bro. I'm shook it. And, oh, snap. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see if we get this like. Um, no. Disgusting. Um, it's, it's like genuinely so insane. I, I don't know. Yeah, Himiko's still alive. Yes. I got scared of that one part. I really did. I was nervous. Yeah, the same reveal? Yes. Really? Ooh. All right, bet. Bet. It's not coming yet, y'all. I was very early pity anyway. Yes, Himiko's still alive. Firefly is alive. I'm so happy about that. Um, 25% came while you were doing the quest. Did it really? Oh, crapola! Oh my god! Oh wait, not yet. Oh! Oh yeah! Yes yet! <laughs> nice. Her Akron, Akron's faction changed. Interesting. It was so good. First time I've ever been able to stand any street from beginning to end. No worries! Oh my god, yes! Crazy! It was so crazy! Thank you so much! Mwah. Um... I am... Let's go, baby. But that was like absolutely freaking insane. I don't know. It's just, I'm, I'm shocked, you guys. I really am. There's a lot to process. So, um, ooh, we're gonna do some more Star Rail for next stream. I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. Probably not because I am doing IRL things tomorrow. Um, but let's see for here. Where Aventurine's boss fight was. Ooh, let's go back to that. Okay. I want to see this. Firefly secret hideout change. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, all right. Bet. Let's go see. We can finally look at some treasure and <gasps> stuff now. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> let's go. I think around, um, all the way, was it here? I forgot. It was, yeah, the stage. No, no, no! Oh my god. Bruh. Can you move? <laughs> no, not two days, no stream. Um. <laughs> Let's see for here. All right, we're seeing the light yet again. Hey. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Well, she uh <gasps> collect limousine cinema. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of a mark. <laughs> just a little bit of a mark. She totally left a bit of a mark. <laughs> and um, I think it was like one more, yeah. Um, it was the place where where was Firefly at? Where did she, where was that one place? Golden hour? Where was Firefly's hangout? Hold on, I'm always forgetting. Was it it wasn't there. Oh, let me put the alerts back on. Thank you guys this so much for the love and all the followers and all memories. the subs. Seriously, thank you guys Care so much. Reminisce. I'm so sorry I couldn't say thank you to everybody. I felt so bad. I was like, ugh. Um, one slash from her. Imagine exactly. Imagine it was the ult. Woo! Um. So late. Where is it? No, it wasn't around here. Was it at Dream's Edge? I I forgot. Where is that hangout again? So late. Firefly. Firefly location, HSR. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Dream's Edge? Oh, it is at Dream's Edge. And it's like, um... Thank you guys for, like, all the love. Seriously, thank you guys so much. Yeah, nothing to, to see. Totally nothing to, to see. Ask your mom. 
All right, let's see. I forgot where exactly it was. No, it was like um. God, I love it around Constructing here. dreams. It wasn't this part. Where was it? Near the level up. Oh, near Clocky? Oh. Near the... What? By the boss upstairs. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, guys. ask your mum. Oh, that's the, that's the sub alert. That's why. Near the level up boss guy. Ask your mum. What? The level up boss guy. Sweet. Okay, hold on. By the boss upstairs. Oh. I forgot. The only boss, my bad, my bad. I think it's, I've just been doing this for like hours. That's why I've just been like, uh. Hey guys, being chilling. Don't look, I'm just here. Oh, right here. Okay, wait. No, I'm not. I'm not getting follow botted. I muted the alerts, so now they're all coming up now that I unmuted them. Yeah, these were all the alerts. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. It's so nice being back here, man. Ugh. Sweet. The observation deck with breathtaking views. You can almost see the entire dream's edge at a glance. Hmm. It's not an easy place to find. The person who introduced it to you truly values your friendship by sharing this view. You think back to the times you spent with her. All of those cherished moments. But the one you'll never forget was the complex whirl of emotions when she first revealed her true identity to you. Was her past identity all just a ruse? Were those tears when she got stabbed all just an act? Is that pain, that thing which fought while being covered in new flames, who she really is? Doubt and confusion leave you discombobulated. After all, the line between what's real and what's false in this dreamscape is far more blurred than it seems. I remember, it was completely different dialogue when you come when you would come back here after the first quest, and now it's this dialogue after finishing the recent one. Gazing up at those tall flowers before you. You lose yourself deep in contemplation. My god, man. It's crazy. I... Mm, I, don't, I don't... Oh, there's this. Okay. Didn't you just say the park is closed? Didn't you? God. I just... <sighs> yeah, that was amazing. All right, you guys, I think... Oh, you know what? Hold on. What do I have around here? Ooh, a sticker collection? Yes, please. And then I'll do these, uh... Not me doing stickers like this. I'll just batch use. Yeah, sure, why not? You know what? Now, nah, let's, let's get back to these later. Let's get back to these later. Um, I think I have enough for one more. No, I lied. But with that being said, I'm gonna call it a night. Um, thank you guys so much for being with me. You guys are amazing and wonderful. I know this was a long story quest, but I'm so glad that we did this. I'm so glad. But please take lots of care, you guys. Thank you guys for being here with me and see you guys on Friday. We're gonna be doing a lot more Star Rail stuff because I wanna do more Star Rail stuff. Because why not? Ah. There's a whole dance thing about Black Swan and Akron. Oh my God, yes. I feel you. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. I will be back on Friday to chill out with you guys. Um, let's go see who to give some love to tonight. I would sing right now, but my voice is completely out. And I don't want, you know, there's, there's people who are new here and I don't want their first impression to be like me, just like, eh. you know, I swear I could sing. I, I have actually sang for Hunkai Pack Third. I will always say that, just saying. <laughs> See? I provided vocals on this. This is my proof that I can sing. Okay. With that being said. Sorry, I'm going through it. Ugh. Oh my god. 
<laughs> of course, I have to do it like that. You know me. Let's go over here. Oh my god, okay. All right, you guys, Kushball is streaming Honkai Star Wars as well, so please, please, please go give him some love. Take lots of care. I'm gonna eat and sleep. And rave and repeat. I'm gonna listen to that. I'm gonna listen to that one theme from that adventuring fight. That was crazy. All right, I'm just kidding. No, but I am I'm tired and hungry. It's hungry. Um, have a wonderful night, you guys. Please take lots of care. Thank you to all my loves on both YouTube and Twitch. You guys are freaking amazing, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye, my loves. Thank you all. I'm going to work on putting alerts up for YouTube as well, so don't worry. I have that, but thank you guys a lot. Take lots of care, and have a wonderful night. Bye, everybody.